chapter three thousand four hundred one giving face but not receiving face others couldn't hear what layuner said but they did hear long chen clearly and that drove them mad layuner was actually willing to form a contractual agreement with long chen could it be that the current swans all liked toads so much had their taste grown so heavy although they hadn't heard what layuner said from long chen's tone she was definitely threatening him compared to their threats a threat from layuner was definitely on a completely different level but long chen still dared to refuse her layuner's expression sank she seemed angry and lightning runes appeared on her silver hair as well after that a violent aura rose long chen didn't say anything and just looked at her he also wanted to know if she would dare to fight in this place was ying bakong's warning true would no one dare to challenge the sacred pill hall's might princess please calm your anger give face to my sacred pill hall don't make things hard on us an elderly voice rang out at this moment covering the entire city although the voice was polite it also contained unquestionable dignity clearly everything here was under the sacred pill hall's watch they gave her a warning although the lightning falcon race was powerful this was the territory of the sacred pill hall they had to follow their rules or the sacred pill hall would lose face however the sacred pill hall was also quite polite with this warning if they weren't somewhat afraid of them as well they wouldn't be using such polite words what are you smiling at Lei Yuna shouted at Long Chen angrily when she saw a smile appear on his face. She thought that he was mocking her. It's nothing. I just feel like you're very beautiful when you're angry, said Long Chen. Actually, he wasn't smiling but simply curling his lips. That was because that elderly voice was quite displeasing. It was a world king, and his voice contained the aura of the god Tao. That aura clearly came from Lord Brahma, meaning that this was one of his subordinates. Unfortunately, Long Chen's displeased expression had actually been taken as an odd smile by Lei Yuner. She clearly had yet to fully grasp the human race's facial expressions. The princess of the noble lightning falcon race actually asked the lowly human to form an equal spirit contract the face of the demonic beast race has been lost by you suddenly another voice rang out it was not loud but heavy like rushing thunder everyone then looked in that direction and saw two giant figures walking over ying bakong's expression changed one of them was the driver of the elephant emperor war chariot he was very large with a powerful blood kai that was as vast as a sea Ying Bakung instantly recognized him. Furthermore, at this time, he was obediently walking behind an even larger man in golden armor. If the driver's aura was like a vast sea, then the man in the golden armor was an entire cosmos. His blood kai was as heavy as a starry sky, making it difficult for the people around to breathe. With his arrival, it was truly like a fierce tiger descending amongst a flock of sheep. The pressure made it so that others didn't dare to move. The mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince, the master of the elephant emperor war chariot, and the future leader of the mammoth divine elephant race. He actually came as well. The mammoth emperor has eight sons. Seven are famous existences, but the eighth prince is very mysterious. Not even his name has been revealed but he was bestowed the elephant emperor war chariot his power is probably unimaginable i heard that the mammoth divine elephant race has been in talks with the lightning falcon race lately could it be eyeing this eight prince as well as the princess of the lightning falcon race and then glancing at long chen people seemed to realize something inferior human race Hey, this big dumb elephant is cursing you. Lei Yuner suddenly laughed, and in front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes, she actually hugged Long Chen's arm and hid behind him. Long Chen was startled and quickly understood. 
this lay Euner was using him as a shield. He had also heard the discussion going on in the background. This eighth prince of the mammoth divine elephant race very likely had some conflict with Lei Yuner. Long Chen really did want to toss Lei Yuner out. He didn't want to be used by others. But that would be as if he was afraid of this eighth prince. He had rejected Lei Yuner. If he flung her out, then it would really be as if he was a coward. Furthermore, he also saw the eighth prince's expression change when Lei Yuner wrapped around his arm. The latter's gaze became as sharp as a blade, and killing intent sort out of him. This action of Lei Yuner's had clearly enraged him. Long Chen indifferently said, I have no enmity with any of you. I only came here to calmly advance to Divine Lord. Whatever personal grievances you have, you can settle amongst yourselves. Don't involve me. Long Chen didn't push Lei Yuner away from him, but he did express his position clearly. He didn't want to interfere in their matters, so don't provoke him. Inferior human, you have no right to speak here. If you want your life, then scram, said the eighth prince darkly. Now Long Chen was angry. It really was a case of giving face, but not receiving face. Did he not know what kind of a man Boss Long San was? Hence, Long Chen no longer cared about being used by Lei Yuner. He naturally extended his hand around Lei Yuner's shoulders and glanced at the Eighth Prince. It seems that you don't understand Boss Long San's words. Since you refuse to give me face, I'll accompany you. Little sister, let's go. Brother San will treat you to some food. Just like that, Long Chen left with his arm around Lei Yuner's tender figure. Originally, he wanted to hold her waist, but she wasn't tall enough for that. If he wanted to hold her waist, he'd have to bend down, and his act would appear incredibly awkward. So he only wrapped his arm around her shoulders. Lei Yuner didn't reject this intimate act. In fact, she strutted with him, glancing back at the eighth prince with a mocking smile. She then left with Long Chen just like that. Courting death, the mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince was enraged. That large man behind him was about to stop the two of them, but he was stopped by the eighth prince. If they were to forcibly stop Long Chen, it would be the same as attacking them. Even their mammoth divine elephant race had to give face to the sacred pill hall. Good, I'll make you regret your actions. With that little bit of power, you are trash in front of me, said the eighth prince darkly. Have you been eating your own crap lately? Why does your breath smell so bad? If you want to fight, we'll meet again in the divine lord immortal realm, said Long Chen. Just like that, Long Chen arrogantly left with the lightning falcon races princess. Ying Ba Kong was shivering as he followed behind them. Tell our people to seal all the exits. I will not permit him to leave, ordered the eighth prince. Yes, that large human immediately replied in the affirmative and vanished amongst the crowd. Chapter 3402 Having Children They sat in a restaurant at the core of the city. From here, they could see the majority of the auspicious cloud prefecture's beautiful scenery. At a table by the window, Long Chen and Lei Yuner were seated facing each other. Ying Ba Kong quietly stood at the side. This restaurant was one of the most famous ones in the auspicious cloud prefecture for its scenery, and the food was also famed for its taste. It was a place only the noble races of the demonic beasts could afford to go to. Lei Yuner had directly reserved the entire top floor of the restaurant. Now she chatted with Long Chen, smiling at him. The food arrived on the table in just a bit. All of them were delicacies of the best ingredients. They were suited to the taste and status of the noble races. Why don't we drink to our common agreement? said Lei Yuner, raising her cup. Do we have a common agreement? How come I didn't know about that? Only then did Long Chen stop looking at the beautiful scenery and turn toward Lei Yuner. Have we not come to an agreement? You offended the eighth 
prince of the mammoth divine elephant race. That fellow is famed for his domineering nature. You either have to follow him or perish. He also has many other powers supporting him, and all of those subordinates are experts in their own rights. Now that you've offended him, you will most likely die, said Lei Yuner with a faint smile as if victory was in her grasp. Isn't that all thanks to you? said Long Chen. He raised his cup and looked at the fine wine indifferently. It's naturally all thanks to me. Follow me and you will quickly start thanking me for this blessing. With my status, position, and talent I have everything you would want in a partner. Furthermore, I'm a woman. If we have children together, they will very likely be able to recover the ancestral bloodline said Lei Yuner proudly. Long Chen was in the midst of tasting the wine when he heard this. As a result, wine spurted out of his nose, and he coughed violently. He then looked at her in disbelief. Her appearance was like a girl that hadn't fully matured. Wasn't it to be battle comrades? Why are you talking about children? asked Long Chen speechlessly. Was this courting a bit too direct? Why are you so surprised? People with powerful bloodlines end up together precisely to produce stronger progeny. No. Lei Yuner looked at him oddly. Long Chen didn't recover from his shock for a long time. He finally said, Does your demonic beast race stay together just to produce progeny? Of course. Lei Yuner nodded confidently. Long Chen was speechless for a long time. He had no words. But thinking about it, perhaps that was the difference between the demonic beast race and the human race. Just because they took human form, it didn't mean that they became humans. They had their own ways of thinking. Seeing his surprised expression, Lei Yuner suddenly understood. Oh, I forgot that you aren't part of the integral heaven star field. You don't understand our demonic beast race. We don't really have those romantic emotions of your human race. As long as the other side is strong enough and looks pleasing, we can directly start creating future descendants. It's much more relaxed than you humans. I might have this child with you and have my next child with someone else. You don't need to feel a burden at all. If you don't like me, you can also find someone else for your next child. But your human race does have a slight disadvantage. Most children end up following the bloodlines of the mother, so the children end up closer to the mothers. But if you put on a good enough show and are strong enough, I can consider only having children with you, said Lei Yuner, patting her chest with her own personal guarantee. Long Chen could only stare at her. Lei Yuner looked like an inexperienced maiden but she was talking about having children without the slightest embarrassment. This completely toppled Long Chen's understanding of the world. What about the eighth prince of the mammoth divine elephant race? Isn't his bloodline very powerful? Why not have children with him? asked Long Chen. Lei Yuner shook her head. I loathe that fellow. I won't allow anyone to be more domineering than me. Those old idiots in my race hope that I have children with him, though. They even say that the first child will belong to the lightning falcon race, and only the second one will go to the mammoth divine elephant race. But I don't like him. I actually hate him. I was going to leave after advancing to divine lord to find someone else to have children with. But I ran into you. You have thunder force and true dragon essence blood. Most importantly, you have the blessing of the butterfly spirit race and the aura of the rainbow cranes. If I have children with you, they will definitely be blessed by heaven and earth. If you come with me, everyone in my race will definitely fully support it. The lightning falcon race will become your strongest backing. Lei Yuner looked at Long Chen, her eyes shining. That appearance made Long Chen gulp. As for Ying Bakong, he stared in shock at Long Chen. He hadn't known any of this about Long Chen. Now, he understood why Lei Yuner would lock onto him and refuse to let go. Being stared at by Lei Yuner, Long Chen quivered. 
This was his first time being forced into this state by a beautiful woman. He even had goosebumps. Of course, my lightning falcon race will not restrict your freedom. As long as you can have a child with me, my lightning falcon race will get you anything you want, continued Lei Yuner trying to entice him. Little sister, let's not discuss this matter. This is a difference between races. Without love as a foundation, if it's purely for producing future progeny, I cannot accept such a matter. Long Chen shook his head. We can have children first, and then consider nurturing our feelings together. Doesn't your human race have some saying? Staying together breeds emotions? Asked Lei Yuner. Its familiarity breeds fondness, corrected Long Chen speechlessly. The flavor of this saying completely changed when she said it her way. One, it's about the same. Feelings can be slowly cultivated. You've seen my sincerity. Furthermore, you have already offended the mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince. Without my protection, you will definitely be killed by him. If you are with me and we join forces, we can directly enter the core of the star field. We will then be supported by the entire karmic luck of the integral heaven star field. It will be a blessed mark. Entering the Divine Lord realm in this state will get you even closer to the heavenly Tao's. With the support of the entire star field, once you become a Divine Lord, you will even be able to challenge world kings, whispered Lei Yuner. The support of karmic luck? Long Chen was finally enticed. On the honing heavenly staircase, Liuo Zichuan had said that only part of the heavenly Tao supported him, and the majority targeted him, resulting in him only being able to absorb a pitifully small amount of heavenly Tao energy. It might not even be a tenth of what ordinary people could absorb. If he could obtain the recognition of an entire star field, though, perhaps that could change. He did think that his biggest handicap was the suppression of the heavenly Tao's, Furthermore, the core of the star field made him have a thought. The reason he was unable to figure out the second form of split the heavens was because the support that the heavenly Tao's could offer him was far from enough. But now, he saw a new hope. After thinking about it, just as Long Chen was about to speak, they heard footsteps. Lei Yuner then looked at the staircase, and her expression changed slightly. Even before the owner of the footsteps arrived, a terrifying pressure already crashed down upon them like a tsunami. One, she adds a character to the saying in the middle that makes it sound like having a lot of sex leads to feelings. Chapter 3403 Half-Step World King Half-Step World Kings Long Chen narrowed his eyes slightly after sensing their cultivation bases. He had encountered world kings and heaven-tier immortal kings. So, this aura that transcended heaven-tier immortal kings, but had yet to reach the level of a world king, was very easy to recognize for him. Don't speak. I'll handle them, said Lei Yuner. Her gaze contained a trace of anger. The footsteps stopped. Long Chen then saw two elders just over five feet tall. Despite their short stature, the destructive aura coming from their bodies was astonishing. Just like Lei Yuner, they had lightning runes flickering in their eyes. But those runes were as sharp as blades. Ah! Uh, Ying Bakong suddenly cried out and clutched his eyes. Fresh blood poured out from between his fingers. Just now, because he looked at the two of them, his eyes almost exploded. A sharp pain ran through his soul. He was in unbearable pain. Long Chen frowned. These elders were clearly from the same race as Lei Yuner, but they immediately unleashed a suppressing aura as soon as they came in. That had gone a bit too far. How many times have I told you that there are some things you shouldn't look at? Long Chen tossed Ying Bakong a medicinal pill. The latter hastily consumed it, and his turbulent soul instantly calmed down. The injury to his eyes also slowly healed. However, he didn't dare to open his eyes again, let alone to look at those two elders. He wasn't such a fool. When gods and immortals fought, 
mortals suffered calamity. If he couldn't run away, the wisest choice was to be a blind person, as well as mute and deaf. Inferior human, are you challenging our mighty lightning falcon race? asked one of the elders. Lightning runes circulated within his eyes, as if he was capable of seeing Long Chen's inner heart. He knew that Long Chen was intentionally cursing them. When they looked at Long Chen, they used their mental power. Don't embarrass yourself. With your little mental energy, you aren't even fit to carry my shoes. If you have something to say, say it. Don't waste my time, sneered Long Chen. Who cared if they were half-step world kings? Mental energy was originally the strong point of the human race, and Long Chen's mental energy was so strong that he wasn't even afraid of the pressure of real world kings, let alone the two of them. For them to try using their mental energy to suppress Long Chen was like ants trying to shake a towering tree. It was laughable. Lei Yuner was originally angry, but when she saw Long Chen completely ignore their mental pressure, she was invigorated. She sneered, it seems that the two of you are unable to represent the Lightning Falcon race, no. What do you think you are doing by being bought by the mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince? You're going to follow me wherever I go. When did the noble Lightning Falcon race become the dogs of someone else? Princess, you might be a princess, but we are the elders of the race. Don't you think you're going too far with these words? said one of the elders darkly. These two were senior members of the Lightning Falcon race, with quite the influence at that. The matter between Lei Yuner and the Eighth Prince stemmed from their work. The Eighth Prince was a rare genius that only appeared once every tens of thousands of years in the mammoth divine elephant race. In terms of bloodline and talent, he was almost flawless. There were even signs of him awakening his ancestral bloodline. If the Eighth Prince and Lei Yuner had children, there would definitely be an even higher chance of the children recovering an ancestral bloodline. When the bloodlines were mixed, there would be a clash between the two. Both sides would try to suppress the other, causing them to unleash immense potential. When two supreme geniuses had children, it was easy to produce a powerful bloodline. Furthermore, through many negotiations, the mammoth divine elephant race had made huge concessions. Their first child, no matter the bloodline, would belong to the lightning falcon race. As for future children, if they leaned toward the mammoth divine elephant race's bloodline, it would go to the elephant race. But if the children leaned toward the lightning falcon race, it would go to the falcon race. This was a great opportunity. The mammoth, divine elephant race clearly had confidence in their bloodline for them to make such a concession. It was only due to this that they were willing to carry out this union. It had taken long negotiations for the two of them to get so many favorable conditions. But Lei Yuner directly rejected the eight prince upon coming here, so how could they not be angry? It had to be known that the demonic beast race was different from the human race. Having progeny and passing down their bloodlines was their number one mission. Emotions, they were worthless. Even when it came to the human race, those with powerful bloodlines would marry each other to have the best chance of having a child with the best bloodline. It was rarely purely about emotion. Novaloon come the demonic beast race talked about this matter like it was eating food or drinking water. That could also be seen in how Lei Yuner talked so frankly to Long Chen about having his children. In her view, it was a casual topic, nothing to be embarrassed about. She was willing to have children with anyone she found pleasing. She greatly liked Long Chen's true dragon essence blood and thunder force. Moreover, her talent was exceptional, giving her a far sharper vision. She could also sense the blessing of the butterfly spirit race and the rainbow cranes. The rainbow cranes were auspicious beasts of heaven and earth, a sign of good fortune. As for herself, she was from a divine bird race. If she was supported by that blessing, 
the benefits would be unimaginable. That was why she was so lopped on to Long Chen. Others didn't have her sharp vision, so they were unable to see through the clues on Long Chen. However, she also didn't wish to spread the word of this matter, for fear of other experts coming to fight over Long Chen. She knew that her outer appearance didn't fit the beauty standards of the human race. So, she was afraid another woman would bring Long Chen away. That was why she was very displeased that these two elders had come now. Too far. Could anyone go as far as you have gone? Do you not place this princess in your eyes? demanded Lei Yuner. In terms of status, you are seniors bullying your junior. In terms of bloodline, you are trying to offend someone far above you. I, Lei Yuner, will handle my own matters. Whatever happens, I will bear the responsibility for it. Nothing here is any of your business, so you can scram. I have reserved this place. If you don't want me to call for people to shoo you out, scram. Otherwise, you'll be the ones to lose all your face in the end. The elders' expressions sank. They had been wanting to advise her, but they were powerless when it came to her temper. They didn't get to say much at all before things ended up like this. They then looked at Long Chen as if blaming him. If this wasn't the auspicious cloud prefecture, they might not have cared about offending Lei Yuner and would have directly killed him. They wanted to try and advise her some more, but seeing her open her mouth as if she was about to shout for the owners of the restaurant, they clenched their teeth and left. Once they left, Ying Bakong sighed with relief. Their pressure made it hard for him to breathe. Long Chen, I really am sincere. Having a child with me won't make your life difficult. Why not consider it? Once the two of them left, Lei Yuner grabbed Long Chen's hands and lowered her head as if wanting to look like a charming maiden. But she wasn't very good at it. Her expression was a bit stiff. Long Chen's scalp turned numb. She was talking about it like animals copulating. He definitely could not accept it. Just as he was thinking about how he could tactfully reject her, the tablet on his waist began to flash. Ying Bakal hastily gave him a way out. Master, you need to go evaluate your power. Chapter 3404 Shameless Move Experts from Other Star Fields Had to Take a Test to evaluate their power. The sacred pill hole had their own measuring tool to test a person's talent, bloodline, potential, etc. Based on this, the sacred pill hole would decide how much these experts had to pay to enter the Divine Lord immortal realm. The stronger the person, the greater the price. If those outsiders didn't take the test, they wouldn't be allowed to enter the Divine Lord immortal realm. The tablet that Long Chen had received when he entered the city only gave him entry to the city, not the Divine Lord or Mortal Realm. If he wanted to go in there, he needed to bring the tablet to the testing area. The testing had started, so Lei Yuner immediately paid the bill and brought Long Chen to the testing area. Many foreign experts had come here. If they didn't get in line fast, it would take a long time. They were still early so if they rushed there, they might get it done quickly. But when they arrived, they were dumbfounded. The testing had just started, but there was already a giant line of people. Ying Bakong suddenly saw a familiar figure and furiously shouted, You aren't even an outsider. What are you doing lining up here? This person belonged to a power opposing the falling star gate. The two of them had even had some interactions, so Ying Bakong instantly recognized him. That person glanced at Ying Bakong disdainfully. Is that any of your business? I'm lined up for someone else. Speaking of which, I heard that you've become a battle pet for the human race. Hee <laughs> hee, congratulations. I'm sure your race is honored by your actions. Ha ha. Ying Bakung wanted to tear this person apart. But he then sneered, a frog at the bottom of a well. Do you know who my master is? Hopefully, you don't kneel and beg me to accept you as well. Bed you? Ah, oh, 
that person was just about to retort with a few lines when he spotted Long Chen, as well as Lei Yuner. When he saw Lei Yuner, his expression instantly changed, and he swallowed his words. Who had you come here? demanded Lei Yuner. That person instantly knelt on the ground, his previous arrogance vanishing without a trace. He was like an entirely different person. Princess I. We were ordered by the Eighth Prince to line up. Don't blame us. Long Chen sneered. This Eighth Prince of the Mammoth Divine Elephant Race really wasn't a good person. Knowing that Long Chen had to come here, he had actually made such a move just to irritate him. It was a bit shameless and truly hateful. Scram, raged Lei Yuner. That person immediately kowtowed. Princess, we can't offend you, but we also can't offend the mammoth divine elephant race. Please give this little one a chance to live. These people had been ordered by the eight prince to line up here, just to irritate Long Chen. If they were to simply leave, it would be offending the mammoth divine elephant race. Furthermore, the eighth prince definitely knew that Lei Yuner would use the status of the lightning falcon race to threaten them, so he must have used his own methods to scare these people so that they wouldn't retreat. Now, they were caught between a rock and a hard place. Lei Yuner turned ashen with rage. You're afraid of the mammoth divine elephant race, but not my lightning falcon race. All right, then. All of you have been remembered by me. Once we enter the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, if any one of you can leave alive, it will count as my defeat. Lei Yuner's fury soared. This was no longer just a matter of Long Chen, but a competition between the Mammoth Divine Elephant Race and the Lightning Falcon Race. If she conceded this matter, it would be like conceding to the Mammoth Divine Elephant Race. Most importantly, like this, it would be as if people were afraid of the mammoth divine elephant race, but not afraid of the lightning falcon race. It was a play done often in the human race as well. If one side was good and the other side was bad, people would rather offend the good side because at least the good side wouldn't kill them in retaliation. It was the bad people that terrified them. These people were sticking to the side of the mammoth divine elephant race not because they felt that this race was stronger than the lightning falcon race, but because they felt that the lightning falcon race was comparatively a bit kinder and wouldn't cast their anger out on them. Lei Yuner wasn't that experienced, but she saw through this clearly, so she refused to concede. If the eighth prince was going to be that ruthless, then she would be even more ruthless. All this time, Long Chen didn't say a word. He had seen such a thing often. The Eighth Prince thought himself to be smart. However, the more he did this, the less chance of there being any union between him and Lei Yuner. He might even push away the entire Lightning Falcon race, turning them into enemies. As lightning runes flashed in Lei Yuner's eyes, those experts instantly became terrified. Lei Yuner was about to mark them so that she could settle things with them in the immortal realm, Navaloon, calm princess, spare us. We'll leave right this instant. Seeing the terrifying Lei Yuner, people finally left the line in droves. They had lined up and persevered. The mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince couldn't possibly blame them for leaving now that Lei Yuner was infuriated. However, even with these people leaving, there was still a long line. Those people were actual experts from outside this star field. The Eighth Prince had ordered people to spread the word for those foreign experts to directly come line up. His subordinates even told them that if they didn't start lining up now, it would be too late. Those experts were unaware that they would be alerted when the power tests started. Thus, they ended up being tricked into lining up here without exploring the city at all. They learned the truth after lining up, but seeing so many people in line, they chose to simply stay. That idiot, even such a shameless idiot dares to want to have children with me? Is his head full of shit? Lei Yuner cursed furiously when she saw the long line. She had been schemed against by the Eighth Prince. 
It was as irritating as if she had just eaten a fly. Don't be mad, said Long Chen. If you have children with me, I won't be mad, said Lei Yuner directly. Long Chen speechlessly rolled his eyes. If this was amongst the human race, a girl saying such a thing in front of everyone would definitely be cursed to death. The difference was truly immense. Master, princess, you should go rest. I'll stay in line for you. When it's almost your turn, I'll tell you, proposed Ying Bakong. Long Chen shook his head. There was no need for that. The thing that he was a bit afraid of was being alone with Lei Yuner. This woman was focused entirely on having children with him, so he found it hard to deal with her. At this moment, the stone gate in the testing area quivered and startled cries suddenly rang out. Long Chen looked over to see a rather ugly-looking man standing proudly before the gate. It's green divine light. Chapter 3405 Toppling Common Knowledge The green divine light covers up all the other colors. That means his bloodline power is his strongest aspect. Furthermore, based on the brightness, it is very pure. He has immense potential. He's not bad, said a surprised Lei Yuner. Seeing that Long Chen didn't understand, Lei Yuner gave him an explanation about the testing gate of the sacred pill hall. It had seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, and violet. They represented the flesh, muscle, bone, blood, kai, soul, and essence. The essence referred to one's mental energy, or more precisely, their will. When the testing gate was activated, the formation's energy would enter a person's body and give them an evaluation. Every single color would light up, but if one aspect was stronger than the others, the corresponding light would drown out the others, making it seem like only one light was shining. He's quite handsome. Just watch, quite a few people will invite him, said Lei Yuner. Handsome? Long Chen could only force out an awkward smile. This guy had triangular eyes and a brandy nose. Moreover, most of his yellow teeth could be seen sticking out of his mouth, and his long chin almost wrapped around his mouth. He looked more like a monkey than anything else to long chin. This was someone handsome. Was this the beauty standards of the demonic beast race? Hey, can I ask what looks handsome about me in your eyes? Asked long chen curiously. H.M. It's not easy to say, said Lei Yuner, glancing at Long Chen a bit awkwardly. All right, then there's no need to say anything, said Long Chen speechlessly. Lei Yuner's tactful response told him that in her eyes, Long Chen looked no different than that man did in his eyes. Hee hee, I'm just teasing you. You're quite good to look at too, said Lei Yuner with a laugh when she saw his expression. As Lei Yuner said this, Quite a few people came to greet this man. Many of them were beauties of the demonic beast race that wore revealing clothes. They actually took the initiative in striking up a conversation with him. This person was quite proud, and he asked them about their backgrounds and how powerful their families were. Did he come to marry someone? Asked Long Chen. Lei Yuner eyed that person. Look at his expression. You can tell he came prepared. Let me tell you, many people who didn't do too well outside this place, but have some talent choose to come here in order to copulate with our demonic beast race. Well, he simply wishes to marry into our ranks. You humans don't really care about the power of the flesh, but we demonic beasts put great importance into it. In terms of soul and mental energy, we are a far cry from your human race. If we have children with you, our children will have attributes that make up for those deficiencies. Our children will also be smarter and can sense the heavenly Tao's easier. But there are also bad points. Humans have weak bodies. If we are going to choose to marry a human, they must have sufficiently powerful bloodline power. So, while our children might still lose one level in this regard, the growth in soul and mental energy will make up for it, giving them greater room to grow. 
as for this fellow he probably did a similar test before running here his main goal probably isn't the divine lord immortal realm but to marry into some family so that was the case the world really was large and filled with marvels this fellow also had the good luck to have found this place with that appearance of his adding on a combat power that wasn't outstanding it would be difficult for him to find any partner but here he was surrounded by countless beauties what kind of logic could you use to argue against it what is that number at the top three hundred seventy five could it be his combat power can be calculated with a number long chen suddenly noticed a line of numbers on the testing gate if that was true it was truly amazing no it's how many immortal king crystals he has to pay based on his talent and power to enter the divine lord immortal realm his actual combat power is very ordinary most outsiders have to pay a hundred immortal king crystals but due to his bloodline being rather pure the price was raised explained lei yun or Navalun, calm damn that many long chen was startled this person's little bit of power was already worth so much then what about himself he finally started to worry look at his clothes he's definitely very poor so he probably needs to marry someone first before being able to pay the price to use your human race's words it can be considered a bride price said lei yuner long chen almost coughed up blood that was essentially selling himself off seeing that person bargaining with a group of people long chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry others continued to take the test as lei yuner predicted some stronger humans came their price exceeded five hundred immortal king crystals but those without powerful bloodlines or physical bodies were ignored by the demonic beasts however those people didn't mind they paid the price activated their status plate and then left not everyone came to marry themselves off the price of five hundred immortal king crystals was truly astonishing but all these experts were willing to pay such a price as more people took the test long chen saw that those with strong bloodlines drew the attention of the demonic beasts they always drew over many beauties long chen noticed something else only very few women came from outside the star field when he asked he learned that the demonic beast race only married with male humans because a human woman copulated with a demonic beast man it was very rare for the children to inherit the bloodline of the demonic beast thus the demonic beasts were all recruiting son-in-laws not daughter-in-laws some races even harshly forbade relationships between human women and their races men the more strict ones would directly execute those people as time passed long chen got closer to the front when there were just ten people in front of him ying ba kung and lei yuner grew a bit excited ying ba kung was excited to know just how strong long chen was he felt like long chen was like a vast sea just how strong was this new master of his as for lei yuner she knew that long chen was hiding a lot of secrets the things that she had seen did not represent all of them but under the testing stone long chen couldn't hide them she would show those old ghosts just how sharp her vision was it was quickly long chen's turn there was a pack of people in the surroundings now and countless terrifying auras were hidden within the crowd clearly due to lee yuner many people were starting to pay attention to long chen they all wanted to know just how strong the person she favored was for her to be so stubborn he he don't worry my lightning falcon race has money go win some face for me that will be a slap in those old fellows faces lei yuner giggled it was long chen's turn and he stepped forward on his own in front of countless gazes he walked toward that large stone gate chapter three thousand four hundred six full cultivation of seven powers the stone gate was three hundred meters tall and was covered in rooms 
some runes started off translucent but once they glowed they revealed different colors this was a testing gate specialized for evaluating four peak experts the four peak realm involved raising four powers within the body to the very peak and these four peaks decided their future cultivation path furthermore there were also priorities amongst the four peaks however this test only evaluated the flesh tendons bones blood chi soul and essence as for metal wood water fire earth wind lightning light dark and other elements they weren't tested for that was because the seven powers of the flesh tendons bones blood chi soul and essence were the most basic powers they were the foundation and those elemental attributes were built on top of this foundation the sacred pill holes test only measured a person's potential not their destructive power so there was no need to know their element long chen stood before the testing gate after that an expert told him what to do he had to spread his arms and turn his back toward the gate when its power entered his body he shouldn't resist otherwise it would instantly throw the test into chaos and it might even make his body directly explode if he didn't want to die he shouldn't mess around long chen had countless gazes on him amongst them were half step world kings long chen then saw the two elders of the lightning falcon race they were sneering at him clearly not having a good opinion of him however there were other elders with them this time one of them had an aura as deep as the vast cosmos long chen's heart shook this was a true world king this world king was staring at him he then narrowed his eyes and asked the person beside him is this the person that yuner settled on yes the princess fancies him the two of us tried to advise her but she cursed us leader the princess's temper needs to be reserved a bit if this continues there will be no way to handle her said one of those elders that lay yuner had driven off this world king was the leader of the lightning falcon race when he heard that response he shook his head this little fellow is definitely not bad yuner isn't so rude perhaps you misunderstood her leader by protecting the princess this much you are encouraging her arrogance she'll do something majorly wrong sooner or later said the elder oh the race leader's expression sank what major affair will she ruin the mammoth divine elephant race isn't anything good even if we were to mate with them everything must be considered at length for you to be so anxious just how many benefits have you gained from the mammoth divine elephant race race leader calm your rage we are just thinking about the lightning falcon race declared both of them hastily hmph don't think that others don't know about those little movements of yours don't let me catch any evidence or even half-step world king experts like you two will be punished severely get away from me you're making others laugh at us said the leader of the lightning falcon race coldly the two of them dejectedly left no longer daring to say anything but this conversation was carried out with their innate divine abilities so others were unable to hear it just then the test started everyone's attention turned to long chen and he spread his arms after that divine light covered him long chen clearly felt traces of energy slowly entering his body this energy wasn't hostile as it was just a simple test as the light covered him tens of thousands of runes lit up on the stone gate rainbow light then filled the sky how how can this be lei yuner was astonished furthermore it wasn't just lei yuner every single person here was dumbfounded in the four peak realm isn't it only possible for four runes to light up people stared in disbelief is it a problem with the testing gate people couldn't help turning to the experts in charge of the gate 
these experts from the sacred pill hall were even more shocked than the others such a thing had never occurred before the testing gate is operating regularly those experts closely examined the testing gate they had checked it carefully but it was still all seven runes shining together could it be that he cultivates all seven aspects together how is that possible in the tribulation it's only possible to grasp four heavenly Tao runes the tribulation will disappear afterward where did he get the other three runes this was simply impossible as it was common knowledge in the cultivation world all races were the same without any exception then how do you explain this situation well just as everyone was dumbfounded and discussing the experts of the sacred pill hall finished talking and one of them announced everyone don't randomly guess we will increase the power of the testing gate which of the seven powers is stronger and weaker will naturally appear just then the light enveloping long chen shuddered and he felt his body tighten it felt like countless thin tentacles were roving within his flesh due to there still being no malice long chen didn't resist he allowed them to search his body the testing gate continued to shake the seven runes were still quivering and shining they grew brighter and brighter until they were blinding how can this be the light intensity has reached the sixth level did he really cultivate all seven powers at once is he a monster everyone was shocked even world kings such a thing had never happened before it had to be known that the testing gates had nine levels of illumination in comparison that human that had drawn a warm welcome from the demonic beasts due to his powerful bloodline activating the green color had only reached the fifth level of illumination now long chen had reached the sixth level of all the runes and blinding rainbow lights shone everyone didn't get it how could this be was someone really capable of breaking the laws of cultivation continue to increase the power said that expert of the sacred pill hall also feeling shocked he refused to believe that someone could really cultivate all seven powers breaking the laws of cultivation as a result rumbling then rang out from within long chen's body and his aura raged the pressure increased on his body provoking the power within him at this moment divine light exploded out of the testing gate and rainbow light illuminated the stars Navalun, calm impossible deathly silence rang out the sacred pill halls experts were filled with disbelief they are all at the ninth level lady Euner's eyes widened in astonishment she then covered her mouth feeling shocked but also delighted chapter three thousand four hundred seven controversy a blinding light illuminated the world it was like seven suns were shining right in front of them and they couldn't even open their eyes the seven colors were shining together people couldn't believe what they were seeing i don't believe it there must be something wrong with the testing gate shouted one expert how could they possibly believe such a thing this was completely against the laws of cultivation the four peak realm involved abandoning all other powers in the body and focusing on the four strongest to decide their future path this rule had never changed since ancient times thus the only thing they could believe was that the testing gate was broken everyone's attention focused on those elders of the sacred pill hall however those elders were also shocked they knew that there was nothing wrong with the testing gate the light vanished after that one of the sacred pill halls elders announced everyone we have never encountered such a thing either perhaps this junior brother cultivates a special cultivation technique or perhaps he has some treasure that interferes with the testing gate these are all just guesses our sacred pill hall doesn't dare to say anything rash about whether or not a person in this world can cultivate seven kinds of power we can only set this matter aside for now 
I will report to the higher-ups that this boss cough, that this junior brother has a strange result. Junior, we will inform you later about what fee you must pay to enter the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. That elder had directly read from Long Chen's status plate and almost called him Boss Long Sen. Fortunately, he managed to cover it up. He then tossed the status plate back to Long Chen with a glare. He was no fool. He knew that Long Chen had done this on purpose. What person dared to call themselves that? What would his own family's people call him then? Although this elder didn't say that there was no problem with the testing gate, he also didn't believe the fact that Long Chen could cultivate seven different kinds of power at once. So, he simply put out two other possibilities to cover up this matter. However, this matter still caused huge waves. Everyone was staring at Long Chen. They began to feel that he was probably a mysterious and terrifying fellow. Long Chen then walked down. Lei Yuner was the first to receive him, and she grabbed his hands. I knew that you were hiding yourself deeply, but I didn't expect you to be this amazing. If others simply refused to believe it, then Lei Yuner absolutely did believe it. She didn't care about common sense. She believed her own eyes and perception. Just then, the next person started the test, and it went as normally as possible. Everyone once more glanced at Long Chen oddly. There was definitely no problem with the testing gate. Then those guesses from the sacred pill halls elder might really have struck the mark. Either his cultivation technique was special, or he had some peerless treasure that interfered with the testing gate. That or... He really did cultivate all seven kinds of power. Whichever guess was right, Long Chen would still be counted as a mysterious and powerful existence. Now, countless demonic beasts were moved. Don't even think about it. He has agreed to have my child. If you want some as well, then you better discuss it with my lightning falcon race first. We might consider renting you some time as well shouted Lei Yuer, blocking the other demonic beasts from charging at Long Chen. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. How did he end up being treated as some stud horse? For rent. But, however, he didn't contradict her words, because rather than being entangled with all those demonic beasts, dealing with her alone was easier. Those demonic beasts flinched back. The Lightning Falcon race's name was quite effective and no one dared to provoke them. However, some of them weren't much weaker than the Lightning Falcon race. So, some outstandingly beautiful and powerful women came up to give Long Chen their business cards. Lei Yuner didn't stop them as she truly had no confidence. What if Long Chen was unhappy with her blocking them? It would be troublesome if he were to turn his back on her. Long Chen smiled lightly and politely accepted those cards. He couldn't help finding it funny. He hadn't lived this life for nothing and had actually managed to run into such a funny situation. The cards had the names, origins, and power level of their families and races, as well as what kind of glorious future he would have if he joined their families. In front of their thirsty eyes, Long Chen politely said that he would consider it. It could be considered giving them face. Just as Long Chen and Lei Yuner were preparing to leave, they were blocked by a group of experts. When Lei Yuner was about to unleash her wrath on them, she saw the leader and hastily bowed. Yuner greets the race leader. In terms of seniority, this elder was Lei Yuner's maternal grandfather. Lei Yuner's mother was his daughter and her father was a human expert. It could be said that Lei Yuner was an excellent example of a successful breeding between the human race and the demonic beast race. Her physical body and bloodline power were still powerful, but she had also gained her father's powerful spiritual strength and mental energy, which awakened her bloodline lightning pupils. This was a bloodline divine ability that the Lightning Falcon race had lost for countless years. But it had awakened from Lei Yuner's mixed blood. It was a huge stroke of luck. 
Leigh Euner had inherited 90% of her mother's bloodline talent, as well as 10% of her father's. But this 10% was precisely what she needed. It could be said that she had been born with all the strong points of her parents. Although the Lightning Falcon Racy's direct line of descent had thousands and thousands of members, those with the status of princess likely Euner numbered only a few dozen. As for princes, they had over a hundred. But Lei Euner was the one that the race leader viewed the most fondly, and the one that he pampered the most. The position of princess was actually higher than a prince in the Lightning Falcon race, and Lei Euner stood at the top of all the princesses. Thus, even those half-step world kings were not placed in her eyes. Little fellow, you're very powerful. If you come to my lightning falcon race, it will be my lightning falcon race's blessing, said the race leader. He patted Long Chen's shoulder, nodding with praise. Senior's control over energy has definitely reached a pinnacle. It's very admirable. Long Chen smiled slightly. This elder looked as if he was just casually patting Long Chen's shoulder, when actually an incredibly minuscule energy entered his body to investigate him. Anyone else would probably have been unable to sense it. The race leader laughed. Not bad. Youngster, you know how to talk. I like you. Euner, don't neglect him and have others mock my lightning falcon race for not having manners. Seeing him praise Long Chan like this, Lei Euner was delighted. She immediately nodded and dragged Long Chen away. Watching them leave, the two half-step world kings hastily said, Leader, isn't this attitude completely cutting off other paths? What do you know? This little human possesses a terrifying physical body. His blood kai is strong like a dragon. Perhaps his body is not at all inferior to that brat from the mammoth divine elephant race. Remember, if he is pulled into our lightning falcon race, all his children will be ours. We also have dozens of other princesses and tens of thousands of women in the direct bloodline at the appropriate age. If we obtain this fellow and constantly sow seeds, wouldn't it be tens of thousands of times better than having a marriage with the mammoth divine elephant race? Said the race leader irritably. He left with them after that. If Long Chen had heard this conversation, he probably would have spat out blood. Those watching also gradually scattered. No one paid attention to the eighth prince of the mammoth divine elephant race glaring darkly from a distant corner. Cold killing intent raged in his eyes. This bastard, you dare to ruin my affairs? Just wait until I tear you to pieces. Chapter 3408 Long Chen's betrothal gift you really are great. You won me face this time. Those two old ghosts have definitely received some bribes from the mammoth divine elephant race. So, now that the race leader is on our side, I want to see just how they will explain themselves to the mammoth divine elephant race. Ha ha ha! Lei Yuner clenched her fists excitedly as she walked with Long Chen. First, let me just say that we can be friends, but I cannot accept having children with you. Let me be entirely clear. I don't want a misunderstanding to occur between us, said Long Chen sternly. Hearing this, Lei Yuner was instantly disappointed. Even her eyes reddened. How can you be this way? We're so familiar with each other already, right? What's the big deal with having children? If you don't have children with me, won't I be laughed at by others? What's the big deal with having children? Long Chen almost choked to death. It seemed that in the demonic beast race, having children was as casual as playing a game. Lei Yuner was like an aggrieved child, leaving Long Chen speechless. It wasn't as if he had ever agreed to have children with her from the start. Hey, don't cry, said Long Chen hastily when he saw tears. You don't like me. Is that because I'm not beautiful? I know that I don't meet the standards of the human race's aesthetics. But I'll treat you well. The Lightning Falcon race will not let you down. Why won't you agree? 
Lay Euner seemed completely aggrieved as tears constantly tumbled down her face. Navaloon, Kam Long Chen, felt like his head was exploding. As expected, not being from the same race led to some difficulty communicating. I'll tell you the truth. I have a heart devil, so I can't have children, said Long Chen helplessly. Really? Lei Yuner looked up, feeling startled. She stopped crying. A heart devil could form in any race, but mostly humans. It was rarer amongst demonic beasts. Humans were the most contradictory race. Amongst demon beasts, it was rarer for contradicting states of mind to form. Humans had a far higher chance of forming a heart devil. Furthermore, in that state, it was taboo to have children, or it could too easily give rise to a devil fetus. This so-called devil fetus was an existence that came into the world filled with hatred and resentment. They hated everything in the world, including their own parents. If a devil fetus did appear, they had to be killed instantly, or they would bring forth a calamity. Of course, it's true. That's why, if we have children, it might give rise to a devil fetus. Your cherished children will be killed for that, destroying your greatest hope, said Long Chen. To the demonic beast race, a first mixed blood child was the most important. They would inherit the most divine abilities and would have the highest chance of inheriting the strong points of the father and mother. With this, Lei Yuner's expression improved. You aren't tricking me? Look into my eyes. Long Chen looked into Lei Yuner's eyes. Lei Yuner then stared back and her soul was drawn in. She instantly felt a power that made her soul shake. You, you really do have a heart devil. Lei Yuner was shocked. Her eyes could clearly sense that terrifying destructive power within his soul. That was his dark energy, and it was completely different from his current aura. Let alone someone like Lei Yuner with her special abilities, even an ordinary person could have easily recognized it. Why don't you ask some expert of your human race to help you with it? Asked Lei Yuner in confusion. Others cannot help me. The only one capable of suppressing this heart devil is myself. So for now, I can't have children. But we can be friends. Other than having children, we can work together on other areas, said Long Chen with a smile. Lei Yuner was silent for a moment. That's fine, too. Once you get rid of your heart devil, we can try again to have children. I'll wait for you. But while I can put aside the matter of having children for now, you can't have any with other races either. I will not become a laughingstock for those other races. Long Chen smiled. No problem. Hearing that response, Lei Yuner smiled as well. Her low spirits were wiped away. Long Chen sighed with relief inside. While the demonic beast race was more savage, their characters were also delightfully straightforward. Let's go. We'll stroll through the sacred pill hall's marketplace and see if there's anything good. I can find a betrothal gift for you there. Lei Yuner pulled Long Chen's hand. Betrothal gift? Long Chen rolled his eyes. Did she really view him as a wife? Just how would he live in this world now? If Mo Nian were to learn of this, Long Chen would never be able to raise his head in this lifetime again. Lei Yuner was only as tall as Long Chen's shoulder. She skipped and bounced as she held his hand, just like a child. Perhaps according to the human racy standards, her mind might be on the level of a ten-year-old child. But such a little girl was thinking about children all day and night, leaving him speechless. As Lei Yuner chatted with him, he learned that the demonic beast race viewed their inheritances as of the utmost importance. That seemed to be the most important thing in their minds, their life's greatest mission. The demonic beasts had also gone through countless tribulations. Those whose inheritances had been passed down relied on their powerful reproductive ability. That was why reproduction was so important to them. Long Chen sighed emotionally inside. In this world, 
Every single race had their own methods of survival. The demonic beast race was like this, and the same was true of the netherworld's underworld and nether races. They all relied on quantity to win. Even the nether god race had their own way to survive. When Minkangyu was born, she was just a mass of primal chaos. She was then raised by other nether gods. At that time, she only controlled a low-level plane. The nether god race needed to stick together. Ming Kangyu technically did have parents and a family, but that wasn't based on bloodline. It was based on controlling the laws in close regions, the goal only being to avoid being devoured by other powers. Later on, that family was attacked by nether gods from other regions, almost wiping them out. Anxious to advance, Ming Kangyu separated her good from herself, resulting in Leng Yuan being born. After that, Ming Kangyu and Leng Yuan joined forces and got revenge on those that had attacked their family, unifying that region under their command. In any case, every single race had their own abilities to survive, which allowed them to continue to this day. In comparison, the human race was definitely lacking. Their reproductive strength and physical bodies were inferior, and so were their lifespans. But they still stood at the peak of the nine heavens and ten lands. No wonder it was said that the human race was blessed by the heavenly Tao's, and other races always transformed into human form to cultivate. To have reached their current position without any other advantages, it could only be said that it was thanks to the favor of heaven and earth. Long Chen also learned quite a bit about the demonic beast races from Lei Yuner. She really didn't have any skeening desire inside her. Whatever he asked, she would answer. They quickly arrived at a building that looked like an imperial palace. It was like a skyscraper, a glorious display of extravagance. Seeing it, Lei Yuner instantly became excited. This is the auspicious cloud trading company, the largest business in the entire integral heaven star field. They have countless treasures. Let's take a look. She immediately dragged Long Chen. Looking at the large gates, Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. Down. Chapter 3409 Lightning Spirit Blood Soul Pill There were countless people within the auspicious cloud trading company. It was like Long Chen had entered an ant's nest. Even in this gigantic palace, they were squeezed together. Although everyone was intentionally being quiet, the number of people made a huge racket inside the palace. It sounded like the entire palace was rumbling. There were three levels. The first level had the most people, the second floor had a few, and the third floor had the fewest. Lei Yuner directly brought Long Chen to the third floor, and Ying Bakong obediently followed behind them. On the third floor, someone checked their identity plates. Without a certain status, a person was not qualified to enter the third level. The likes of Long Chen and Ying Bakong were actually not qualified to enter the third level, so they only benefited from Lei Yuner's status. This floor was simply a straight path with all kinds of extravagant goods displayed on the sides. These were all treasures. How about I buy you a weapon? Lei Yuner knew that Long Chen didn't have a weapon, so she pulled him over to one of the display counters. This was a giant display that took up almost half of the path. There were all kinds of weapons on it, all king items. There were war chariots, flying boats, and other large tools as well. However, when Long Chen saw the prices, he shook his head. Even the cheapest was thousands of immortal king crystals. The more expensive ones were over ten thousand. Although these king items were of excellent quality, he still felt that the price was excessive. He was the dean of the High Firmament Academy's Seventh Branch Academy. The main academy had sent over several king items to be placed in the Branch Academy's storage to be exchanged for points. Although they required points as a price, Long Chen did have a general understanding of a king item's price. Thus, he was able to tell that the prices of these king items were slightly high. 
What kind of weapon do you like? I'll buy it for you. You must pick one. I have over thirty thousand immortal king crystals here, said Lei Yuner. Although Long Chen couldn't have children with her, she wanted to lock him in first for now. It was like accepting her gift would make him her person. Don't you need the lightning spirit blood soul pill? Why don't we first go to take a look at the medicinal pills? said Long Chen. He felt that the king items were too expensive and he didn't want to get ripped off. It didn't matter whose money he was spending, the feeling of being ripped off wasn't a good one. All right, I need to buy a thousand lightning spirit blood pills as a foundation for advancing to divine lord. I'll see how much I have left after buying them to see what I can buy for you, said Lei Yuner with a bright smile. That smile vanished when she saw the medicinal pill counter. She saw that the price of the lightning spirit blood soul pill was thirty mortal king crystals for just one. Damn, this is a huge rip-off. Why not just steal from people directly? Long Chen almost started to curse people for the price of this pill. The lightning spirit blood soul pill was a medicinal pill for demonic beasts, specifically for lightning attribute demonic beasts, to increase their blood soul power. The pill formula was a secret, and the main ingredient was the lightning spirit blood soul grass. It was a very rare ingredient. However, no matter how rare it was, it was still possible to buy it. What they were selling was simply a tier 4 high-grade medicinal pill. Even for a top-grade pill, demanding a price of one mortal king crystal was already extremely expensive. For the sacred pill hall to dare to demand thirty immortal king crystals for one pill was an utter rip-off of the highest degree. It was no wonder that this place didn't have the Huayun Trading Company. If the Huayun Trading Company came with their prices, this place would have to instantly close down. What's going on? Wasn't it sixteen immortal king crystals for one lightning spirit blood soul pill? Why has the price inflated so much suddenly? raged Lei Yuner. The one in charge of attending them was a cold-faced elder. He had a violet pill furnace embroidered on his chest. It was unknown what status that meant in the sacred pill hall. The elder indifferently said, You said it yourself. That was the price before the Divine Lord Immortal Realm opened. Three years ago, our sacred pill hall's medicinal field met a natural disaster in the odd peak domain, resulting in the majority of the lightning spirit blood soul grass dying. The surviving grass was affected by the waves of the heavenly dows from the natural disaster, which was a major hindrance in refining the pill. Because of it, the odds of the pill forming dropped to less than a third of the normal rate. It can be said that thirty immortal king crystals is already an excellent price we only offer due to our conscience. What nonsense! The odd peak domain is right beside our territory. How come we never heard of any natural disaster? raged Lei Yuner. She knew that region, and had not heard of anything happening there. She felt that this elder was lying to her. The elder's expression sank. He coldly said, Do the matters of our sacred pill hall need to be reported to your demonic beast race? I told you, the natural disaster resulted in the price increasing. Buy it or not, it doesn't matter. If you're not buying, scram. Long Chen shook his head. This fellow probably just spouted out a random lie, only for the place that he mentioned to actually be near Lei Yuner's home. Now that he was exposed, he immediately turned hostile. Clearly, this elder didn't know Lei Yuner's origins, or he wouldn't have said something that got him instantly exposed. But even if he was exposed, he refused to admit it. Who are you telling to scram? Do you think the name of the sacred pill hole allows you to bully my lightning falcon race? Killing intent erupted out of Lei Yuner. She was shaking with fury. Hearing that she was from the Lightning Falcon race, the elder's expression instantly changed. But he forcibly remained calm and said, So what if you're from the Lightning Falcon race? 
what I'm saying is a fact, but due to my age I might have misremembered where the medicinal field was. Do you dare to do anything to this old man due to this matter? You, shameless. Lay Euner clenched her teeth furiously. This person was far too shameless. He was clearly the one ripping others off, but if he said that he had misremembered, there was nothing she could do. I've been courteous enough to you. I'd ask you to take note of your words. You should know whose word counts in this star field. Furthermore, the price of the pill was decided by the higher ups. Even if the price goes up, it doesn't enter this old man's pocket. Why make things hard on me? said the elder coldly. The elder's words were tough yet, also not directly opposing her. His meaning was that since he didn't set the price, it wasn't him that went against her. They could both take a step back and let this matter rest. Continuing to fight over it wouldn't benefit anyone. After all, in the entire integral heaven star field, only the sacred pill hall sold medicinal pills. Lay Euner was ashen with rage, but she was helpless. No matter what price the sacred pill hall set, people still had to buy their pills. Navaloon, Kam Long Chen shook his head. This was the result of a monopoly on the market. They could increase the price just by saying it, and there was nothing you could do. Compared to the Huayan Trading Company, this sacred pill hall was trash. Oh, the princess of the great lightning falcon race actually has such an ugly expression. Could it be that the lightning falcon race has declined and can no longer afford to buy those medicinal pills? A treacherous voice rang out. Chapter 3410 Water Mallard Race Long Chen was surprised. Someone was actually provoking the lightning falcon race. He then turned his head to see a group of tall, slightly pudgy women walk in. The one at the front was wearing revealing clothes. She only had a short upper garment and a skirt on, which revealed the majority of her legs, although she also had a thin layer of gauze-like material on top. It was mostly see-through. The thin cloth that seemed to cover her up but failed to was exceptionally attractive. People couldn't help wanting to look deeper. Her face was enchanting, with a pair of fox eyes. Although she was talking about Lei Yuner, her overwhelmingly charming gaze was on Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help but shiver. His whole body turned cold, and he felt goosebumps on the back of his neck. This woman was so brazenly trying to seduce him. It was the first time he ever encountered such a thing. Wu Ying, are you looking to die? You dare to try to bully me? demanded Lei Yuner. Ying Ba Kong stealthily whispered into Long Chen's ear, Master, this is Wu Ying from the Water Mallard race. Her status is equal to Princess Yuner. What do you mean that her status is equal to mine? They are nothing more than some ducks, raged Lei Yuner. Ying Ba Kong jumped in shock. He had been using a divine ability to speak to Long Chen so that only he would hear, but Lei Yuner was so powerful that she inadvertently heard him. He hastily shut his mouth and hid behind Long Chen. The Water Mallard Race It was also a noble race amongst the demonic beasts. Their innate water element talent made them famous within the integral heaven star field. They weren't lacking much when compared to the lightning falcon race. Both were from the bird races of demonic beasts, but they weren't friendly. The water mallard race was different from other flying beasts. They were allied with the land beasts and the scaled beasts. The entire flying beast race was mortal enemies with the scaled beast race, but the water mallard race actually refused to stand alongside them. That resulted in many of the other flying beast races having bad relationships with them. The fiery-tempered lightning falcon race in particular didn't get along with them. The two had fought large-scale battles before, but the lightning falcon race was depressed since their lightning energy was actually subdued by the water mallard race's water energy. One was soft and insipid, while the other was hard and fierce. When they fought, their thunder force, 
was actually unable to gain any advantage over them. As a result, it ended up becoming a competition of core energy. However, all those with water energy, wood energy, and earth energy had thick reserves of core energy. But Thunder Force was wild and explosive. It couldn't be maintained for long. When they competed with core energy, it was the Lightning Falcon race that was at a disadvantage. So despite detesting the other side, the Lightning Falcon race could not do anything to them. The result was that both sides were hostile to each other. Thus, the Water Mallard, Racy's princess, Wu Ying, naturally didn't give Lei Yuner any face. Wu Ying seemed to be more of a schemer than Lei Yuner. She managed to infuriate Lei Yuner with just some words, and afterward, she didn't even look at her. She walked right up to Long Chen and smiled bewitchingly. You must be the boss Long San that caused a ruckus in front of the testing gate. As expected, you really are an amazing figure. A man like you should like subduing a mature woman, don't you think? Silly little girls that haven't grown up yet are very inexperienced. They definitely don't have the same flavor as a big sister like myself. Why don't you come to my water mallard race? We can offer you the highest level of spiritual contracts. As long as you are willing to stay in my water mallard race, when I become the leader of the race, your position will only be lower than mine. What do you think? Long Chen looked into her eyes and smiled disdainfully. She really did view him as a fool. Just from her eyes, he could see her arrogance and slyness. Moreover, he could see the contempt she had for the human race. She didn't care about him at all. This was just using him to slap the face of the Lightning Falcon race. He had been turned into a tool. Yun. Lei Yuner was so enraged that it looked like she was about to kill. Long Chen grabbed her, stopping her. He then shook his head at Wu Ying. Many thanks for your good intentions. However, every person has their own tastes. First of all, I don't like fatties, and second of all, I don't like oldies either. Go back to wherever you came from. You. Wu Ying's expression instantly grew ugly. Her smile vanished, and her killing intent raged. It didn't matter whether it was a human or a demonic beast. No woman liked others criticizing their appearance or age. Long Chen had called her fat and old all at once, infuriating her more than if he had slapped her in the face. Lei Yuner was delighted by Long Chen's response. After that, she obediently stuck by him, making faces at the furious Wu Ying. Inferior human, are you asking to die? Do you believe me when I say that even with the support of the Lightning Falcon race behind you, my water mallard race can still make you die a miserable death, shouted Wu Ying furiously. If I'm an inferior human, why did you choose to come to me? Doesn't that mean that you're even more inferior? We were just talking about business. If the business talks fall apart, why do you instantly turn hostile? Your water mallard race really is fickle. You turn hostile faster than the flipping of a page, no? said Long Chen with a sneer. Yun. Wu Ying quivered with rage. When it came to quarreling, she was a demonic beast. How could she beat him with words? Even those old monsters who viewed themselves as skilled with words were made to spit out blood by Long Chen, let alone someone like her. Yeah. What you? You came here with malice, so why can't others retaliate? Other than that, I should warn you, I boss Long San truly dislike when others threaten me. Furthermore, my temper isn't very good. I'd advise you not to provoke me, warned Long Chen. What can you do if I want to provoke you? Sneered Wu Ying. Not much. But with this temper of mine, I can always relieve it after slaughtering a few people. As long as your water mallard race has enough people for me to kill, do as you please, said Long Chen, shredding indifferently. Big words. Boss Long San, is it? Just wait. 
Once we enter the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, just watch as I tear out every muscle in your body, said Wu Ying darkly. Then I'll provide a walk, said Long Chen. For what? asked Play Yuner. To treat you to some duck noodle soup. Wu Ying and the other experts of the water mallard race were enraged. But Long Chen ignored them. He turned with his arm around Li Yuner's shoulder and then pointed at one of the lightning spirit blood soul pills. Please buy one for me. The elder at the counter had been watching with interest as the two sides fought. Seeing that it was over, he was a bit disappointed. You're just buying one? He asked. I want to buy one for now to take a look, said Long Chen. Just buying one wasn't permitted usually, because you had to buy at least ten at once. But due to Lei Yuner's status, the elder didn't mind selling Long Chen just one. Aha, the lightning falcon race is now so poor that they can't even buy important medicinal pills. Just then, Wu Ying once more provoked them. Crack. Just then, everyone was shocked to see Long Chen crush the lightning spirit blood soul pill in his hand. Chapter 3411 Shameless Sacred Pill Hall Everyone, including Lei Yuner, stared at Long Chen. A lightning spirit blood soul pill was worth thirty immortal king crystals. And he crushed it just like that. What was that for? The expression of the sacred pill hall's elders sank. Clearly, he thought that Long Chen's action was a provocation. As for the water mallard race's experts, they actually thought that Long Chen was angry at their provocation and had lost control of himself. Just as Wu Ling was feeling pleased and about to mock him, she heard Long Chen start talking. Lightning spirit, blood soul, grass, thousand leaf, vermilion fruit, violet root, magnolia vine, flowerless ivy, wheel seeds. Long Chen eyed the resulting powder of the lightning spirit, blood soul pill, occasionally sniffing as well. He rattled off a list of medicinal ingredients. These names left others befuddled, but the elder was completely shocked. Long Chen was listing out all the ingredients in the pill. Furthermore, the most unbelievable thing was that the order he listed was the order that they had to be placed in the pill furnace. He wasn't the slightest bit off. You, you are an alchemist? asked the elder in shock. Lei Yuner, Ying Bakong, and even Wu Ying were all startled to hear this. They stared at Long Chen in disbelief. A bit, said Long Chen, smiling slightly. This lightning spirit blood soul pill would count as being above average in difficulty to refine. Although it was a tier four medicinal pill, with Long Chen's current soul energy and Huo Linger's power, refining it wasn't anything difficult. Something as trash as this was actually treated as a treasure by the sacred pill hall to be sold for such a high price. It was truly a scam. Since you are an alchemist, you can join my sacred pill hall. As long as you pass the exam, you can live in the bright cloud domain and obtain a never-ending supply of medicinal ingredients. I don't mind telling you that this domain is a heavenly place that alchemists dream of reaching. I feel like you can consider it, said the elder, his entire tone changing after learning that Long Chen was an alchemist. I don't feel like it. Alchemy is a side hustle for me. I never wanted to be a true alchemist. I was just curious about the lightning spirit blood soul pill. Can I trouble you to give me a lightning spirit blood soul grass? Asked Long Chen. The elder didn't immediately agree. He looked at Long Chen. You should know that the integral heaven star field is dominated by my sacred pill hall. The heavens cannot have two suns, and the people cannot have two lords. This place welcomes all cultivators, but if anyone causes trouble, they usually won't have a good ending. The elder was clearly threatening him. The sacred pill hall was monopolizing the medicinal pill market of the integral heaven star field. They would not allow anyone else to sell medicinal pills here. 
the sacred pill hall was well aware of just how they priced their pills. So they would not permit anyone to come in and undercut them, not alone, come they were truly shameless people. On the Marshall Heaven continent, Pill Valley had even sold fake medicine. Here they instead took a monopoly and charged outrageous prices. Lord Brahma's followers were all only capable of shameful acts. Long Chen sneered, I only want to buy a single lightning spirit blood soul grass. Tell me, is the essence refined from a single grass enough for a single furnace of lightning spirit blood soul pills? Even if it could, I have never refined such a pill before. Do you think I could refine such a difficult pill on my first try? Don't tell me that your sacred pill hall is so afraid of me refining pills that you don't even dare to sell me a single lightning spirit blood soul grass. The elder's expression softened when he heard that. Long Chan was correct. The lightning spirit blood soul pill was a difficult pill to refine. Even practiced masters often failed, let alone someone who hadn't reached the divine lord realm. The lightning spirit blood soul grass is priced at three stalks for one immortal king crystal. I will give face to the lightning falcon race and give you an additional two. How about we close the curtains to today's matter here in order to avoid harming our friendship? said the elder generously. The main thing was that he didn't believe that a little four-peak disciple could truly refine the lightning spirit blood soul pill. Even if he could, it would probably be low grade or trash grade. Without practicing it many times, it was very difficult to refine it. Thus, one stalk or five stalks of grass made no difference to him, so he intentionally acted generous. It was quite sly. Through this, it covered up any previous air of displeasure, and neither side would make things hard on the other. Then, many thanks. I know that you were only following your duty and not intentionally harming the lightning falcon race. We have no intention of blaming you, said Long Chen with a smile. He then put away the five palm-sized stalks of lightning spirit blood soul grass. Inside, he was cursing the elder's entire family. This old bastard acted courteous, when in fact he gave Long Chen the worst lightning spirit blood soul grasses that he had. Three of them were essentially trash. Most of their medicinal nature had decayed. Even though two were still complete, they hadn't reached full maturity and didn't contain enough energy. This old fellow was truly treacherous. Not cursing him out loud was already showing great restraint. Aha, exactly. The lightning falcon race is a noble race. They naturally wouldn't make a fuss over such a minor affair, laughed the elder. Right, the lightning falcon race is a noble race that soars over the heavens. They definitely live a different life when compared to those bugs crawling their way through the earth or ducks that ingratiate to anyone they can. I'm sure you must be busy with business, so we'll leave first. Long Chen laughed and left with Lei Yuner. Pulled it. Only after Long Chen and Lei Yuner had started walking away did Wu Ying react and realize that Long Chen was cursing her. She pointed at Long Chen, but before she could curse him, the sacred pill hall's elder coldly said, It is forbidden to make a ruckus in this region of business. He was at ease with what Long Chen had just said. He knew that Long Chen wouldn't do what he shouldn't do. He wouldn't cause trouble for the sacred pill hall. Lei Yuner laughed. She also only realized Long Chen's insult now. The heads of the demonic beasts really weren't as agile. But seeing Wu Ying's current expression almost made her dance. Ignoring Wu Ying's fury, they walked away. It wasn't that long after when they heard Wu Ying roar and the elder indifferently say whether you want to buy it or not. Don't shout so loudly. Clearly, the inflated price of the medicinal pills was not targeted toward the lightning falcon race. Just now, the water mallard race had been laughing at them, but their retribution had come. After hearing that furious roar, Lei Yuner was in an excellent mood. 
holding long chen's hand she said why don't i buy five hundred for now after i advance i must immediately stabilize my foundation if i buy a thousand then i won't have enough to buy you a weapon but five hundred should just barely be enough to make my blood soul power stable afterward said lei yuner looking at this tender girl especially the naivety in her eyes long chen's heart softened he said i will help you handle the lightning spirit blood soul pills but i have a request what is it i want to learn your lightning falcon races movement art chapter three thousand four hundred twelve lightning falcon secret art in a private room long chen and lei yuner stood facing each other in the distance ying bakong was staring closely at them ying bakong was extremely grateful because long chen wanted to learn lei yuner's special movement art they rented a training room originally ying bakong shouldn't be here for such a thing and lei yuner didn't want him here either but long chen had him enter because he said that if he didn't the water mallard race and the mammoth divine elephant race would definitely target him it didn't matter if it was within the city with their power they could still find a way to kill ying bakong he was only allowed into this room due to concerns about his safety which was why ying bakong was so grateful to long chen it had to be known that while his silver wing hawk eagle race was not small it couldn't come close to comparing to the likes of the lightning falcon race the mammoth divine elephant race and the water mallard race furthermore he was only an ordinary genius of the silver wing hawk eagle race if he was crushed to death the silver wing hawk eagle race wouldn't dare to even mention it in the future thus he no longer felt any resentment toward long chen only gratefulness and reverence long chen was too powerful following someone as strong as him wasn't something embarrassing instead it was an honor lei yuner's blood kai buzzed and lightning runes grew active in her eyes as her silver hair rose slightly lightning runes appeared all over her body are you prepared lei yuner had entered her combat state and her aura was completely different from normal it was fierce and tyrannical the falcon was originally a bird of prey that captured all kinds of life forms for food in that case the lightning falcon race was the emperor of the falcons and they were exceptionally ferocious long chen had a shield in his left hand and a spear in his right hand lightning runes covered his body as well when his lightning runes appeared the entire training room rumbled an air of destruction came from him your thunder force contains the power of the heavenly dows if you have children with me our children will definitely be supreme experts exclaimed lei yuner when she saw those lightning runes although she had sensed his thunder force it was only when he displayed it that she was truly shocked his thunder force was one with the heavenly dows of course his thunder force was one with the heavenly dows it came from the heavenly tribulation lightning that was absorbed by lei linger hence this lightning had her mark on it as well as long chen's will it was a special lightning unique in the world stop talking nonsense attack once i learn your movement art i'll teach you my own peerless lightning technique shouted long chen sternly this foolish child was still a kid herself yet she spent all day thinking about having children all right i'm going to start lei yuner once more entered her combat state her aura grew incomparably condensed and her eyes grew fierce when she entered her combat state she was no longer a child but a ferocious merciless beast the void quivered and lei yuner vanished what speed long chen's heart shook his mental energy was covering the entire training room but as soon as lei yuner vanished even his mental energy lost track of her it was to be known that her mental energy couldn't possibly compare to his in other words she was inconceivably fast so fast that not even his mental energy could keep up Ooh. 
relying on his sense of danger, Long Chen swung his shield in a certain direction. However, he was shocked to find that he had struck nothing. Lei Yuner's hand then patted his shoulder. What a movement, Art! exclaimed Long Chen. She was incredibly fast. The moment he blocked her, she was already gone. She patted Long Chen's shoulder before he was able to use his shield to push her aside. He he, I'm going to accelerate, Lei Yuner giggled. A pair of wings then appeared on her back. At that moment, this training room became filled with images of her. It wasn't an illusion. It was simply her moving so fast that it appeared as if thousands of her were attacking at once. Long Chen swept out his spear and blocked with his shield repeatedly, but there were still many times when Lei Yuner's attacks landed on him. Her attacks lacked any killing or destructive intent, resulting in Long Chen's sense of danger not being as effective. Furthermore, she was truly too fast. He could only rely on his instincts to keep up with her. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised, as well as grateful. Lei Yuner was clearly displaying how she circulated her thunder force while moving for him to see. Long Chen wasn't capable of grasping this technique like this, but Lei Linger was. She had formed lightning armor around his body, absorbing her attacks and sensing the method to circulate her thunder force. As a lightning spirit body, Lei Linger was capable of absorbing any lightning art. There were no secrets that could be hidden from her. As she continuously watched Lei Yuner's movements, she quickly began to condense runes. These were identical to Lei Yuner's core runes, which were necessary to use the Lightning Falcon race's divine abilities. After fighting for an hour, Long Chen suddenly took a step. Lei Yuner was in the midst of launching a palm when he vanished. Just as she was astonished, Long Chen appeared behind her and tapped her back. Lei Yuner reached out to grab him, only to miss once more. She was truly shocked now. Long Chen had dodged her attacks twice using the Lightning Falcon race's movement art. After recovering from her shock, she once more accelerated. Long Chen was filled with praise. The Lightning Falcon race's movement art was truly powerful. Lei Yuner didn't hold back at all in teaching him, and Lei Linger didn't hold back at all in learning. After two hours, the entire room was rumbling with thunder. It looked as if there were thousands of Long Chen's and Lei Yuner's chasing each other. As for Ying Bakong, he was dazed after just watching for a bit. He almost threw up. He shut then his eyes and didn't dare to open them again after that. This speed had reached such a level that his eyes couldn't even keep up. Just trying to do so would use up his mental energy. Boom! As the lightning in the air vanished, Long Chen and Lei Yuner appeared once more. Lei Yuner praised, You really are skillful. You were made to learn lightning arts. You grasped my lightning falcon race's movement art so quickly. Long Chen reddened slightly. This wasn't him learning it. It was all Lei Linger. Hence, this praise made him feel guilty. The Lightning Falcon Race's movement art is absolutely marvelous. I've greatly benefited from this. But I won't let you lose out. A spear of lightning appeared in Long Chen's hand, and the entire training room quivered violently. Prax then appeared on the ground, ceiling, and walls. What terrifying condensed energy! Lei Yuner was shocked to see that sphere of lightning. She had never thought that thunder force could be condensed to such a level. Look with your heart. I will teach you this technique called World Extermination Lightning Radiance, said Long Chen. Chapter 3413 Gathering Boom The training room exploded and countless runes lit up a giant barrier. The fragments of the room struck the barrier but didn't cause any damage. Ying Bakong was hiding in a corner of the wreckage. Just now, Lei Yuner's lightning spear had gone out of control. If Long Chen hadn't helped Ying Bakong block it, he would have been blasted out of existence. I told you to hold back a bit, said Long Chen helplessly. 
Long Chen had taught Lei Yuner how to control the world extermination lightning radiance. Relying on her powerful bloodline talent, she thought that she could fully control it, only for that carelessness to blow apart their training room. If there wasn't an outer formation around the training room, the wreckage would have flown out and caused quite a bit of damage to the surrounding area. All right, now we have to pay for damages. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. They had rented this training room, but now it had been blasted apart by Lei Yuner. It would probably cost a hefty price. Lei Yuner didn't care about that price. She looked at her hand, having yet to recover from her shock. What a terrifying attack. I'd only used a tenth of my power just now, but its destructive power has exceeded my Lightning Falcon Race's ultimate technique, said Lei Yuner, feeling delighted and shocked. Don't be so happy just yet. You can't control it. With your current level of control, if you used 50% of your power, it would definitely severely wound you. If you exceed 60%, you'd lose your life. You should focus on control for now. If you don't have control, then no matter how strong the technique is, it's meaningless, warned Long Chen sternly. Lei Yuner was a demonic beast, and her spiritual strength wasn't strong enough to control this technique. Her lightning arts were related to her bloodline, so they were easier to control for her. On the other hand, this technique had no connection to her bloodline. Hence, even if she was familiar with Thunder Force and used her core energy for this technique, it was still difficult to control the world extermination lightning radiance. As expected, People quickly came to make them pay for the destruction. For this training room, Lei Yuner paid 200 Immortal King Crystals. This was after they gave face to the Lightning Falcon race. Otherwise, it would be more. They were only recuperating their cost. After that, Lei Yuner directly rented another training room. This time, Ying Bakan directly said that he would guard the door. He said that he was preventing anyone from disturbing Lei Yuner, but really, he was just afraid of her losing control and killing him. This time, Lei Yuner was more cautious, but her spiritual strength was still not strong enough. Despite knowing how she had to control it, it was like walking on thin ice. One mistake and she would lose control. The disaster repeated itself twice, with only Long Chen preventing the room from being blown up again. Lei Yuner was originally overflowing with excitement, but these consecutive failures disappointed her. This technique was too difficult. No matter how great the technique was, there was no use if she couldn't control it. She almost started crying. Long Chen comforted her and directly refined two furnaces of pills to nourish her soul. When she saw those top-grade treasure pills, she was dumbfounded. She recognized what level these pills were. She was unaware that these furnaces of pills were just refined by Hua Linger and the Demon Moon Furnace. The Demon Moon Furnace refined demonic pills, so Long Chen had a thought. Wouldn't demonic pills be perfect for demonic beasts? When Long Chen gave her those top grade treasure pills, Lei Yuner was so grateful that she couldn't even speak. She only knew that the higher the grade of the pill, the more precious it was. She thought that these treasure pills were definitely extraordinarily valuable, but she didn't know that despite being treasure pills, such pills were so commonplace that not even ten of them could be sold for a single Immortal King crystal normally. The demonic beast race couldn't refine pills, and the sacred pill hall forbade any medicinal pills from entering the integral Heaven Star field. So all medicinal pills were sold for a sky-high price here. Long Chen didn't bother explaining any of this. He had Lei Yuner consume one, and just that one pill already strengthened her mind and spirit. Her mental energy increased by almost 30%. Long Chen was startled inside. It seemed that demonic pills really were perfect for demonic beasts. However, these pills also had a greater burden on the body. Perhaps only the body of a demonic beast could endure such a thing. 
it had to be known that the demonic pills he refined were normally only for himself their medicinal energy was too violent for others to consume however lay Euner didn't feel out of sorts after consuming one the medicinal effect took action steadily she absorbed it particularly well perhaps it was due to never consuming such pills before but even after consuming ten pills the efficacy of each pill didn't decrease it was only after the tenth pill that the effect started to decrease it finally had no effect after sixteen pills after eating the pills lay Euner's spiritual strength increased multiple times furthermore long chen also used these medicinal pills to widen her spiritual space as she worked hard she would have a large room for improvement with her new spiritual strength lei yuner was finally capable of unleashing the world extermination lightning radiance it was capable of instantly absorbing fifty per cent of her thunder force for an attack even she felt terror at this technique their lightning falcon race's strongest divine ability was only able to unleash a tenth of their full energy capacity at once. But that would already be considered a terrifying ultimate move that made countless demonic beasts shudder. As for this technique that she had learned from Long Chen, it had surpassed the scope of her understanding. Now she truly had her own personal trump card. Long Chen warned Lei Yuner that due to her spiritual strength, fifty per cent of her power was her limit any more than that and her life would be in danger lei yuner was profoundly grateful to long chan for this technique she had only taught him a movement art but he had taught her such a terrifying technique she felt so sorry for him that she wanted to teach him more of her lightning attacks however long chen refused what long chen had cared about was lei yuner's terrifying speed the rest of her lightning arts were useless to him. His thunder force came from Lei Linger. As long as he had the support of this movement art and a terrifying attack like the world extermination lightning radiance, that was enough. After all, he also had the world extermination flame lotus, the dragon blood battle armor, the six star battle armor, split the heavens, and other techniques. Power was his main focus. He needed to focus on perfecting the techniques he had, not learning more. With Lei Yuner's patient display, Lei Linger had already grasped her movement art. Since Lei Linger and Long Chen's souls were connected, Long Chen had essentially learned the technique as well. Long Chen started to teleport throughout the training room, leaving 10,000 after Amidus. His speed was not at all inferior to Lei Yuner's. This was Long Chen's first time controlling such terrifying speed. Even if he encountered supreme experts in the future, he could flee even if he couldn't beat them. He had gained a life saving trump card. After three days, Long Chen and Lei Yuner came out of seclusion. Long Chen's tablet was shining again. Furthermore, it wasn't just his. Lei Yuner and Ying Ba Kong's tablets were also shining. The Divine Lord Immortal Realm is about to open. We're starting to gather. Let's go now, said Lei Yuner excitedly. Long Chen was also excited. Once I reach the Divine Lord Realm with the Lightning Falcon Race's movement art, I don't have to be afraid of even world kings. However, just as Long Chen was in high spirits, a line of numbers appeared on his tablet that made his expression instantly grow ugly. Chapter 3414 Intolerable Bullying 70,000. Long Chen's expression sank. The Divine Lord Immortal Realm was about to open, so now numbers appeared on his tablet. However, they wanted him to pay 70,000 Immortal King Crystals to enter the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. That was even more than what it took to rebuild the Seventh Branch Academy. This was clearly an attempt to target him and not allow him to participate in the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. How can it be so expensive? Lei Yuner was also shocked. Isn't the highest supposed to only be ten thousand? Could it be?
They based this price on having reached the top in all seven aspects, wondered Ying Bakong. Lei Yuner agreed with that guess. Someone who maxed out the testing gate would have to pay 10,000 Immortal King Crystals. That was because when they entered the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, they would gain the most benefits and use up the most of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm's energy. Naturally, the ticket price was increased for them. However, no matter how powerful an individual's four peaks were, the price was still based on only one peak. It was definitely bullying for them to require Long Chen to pay for seven. They had clearly said that Long Chen couldn't possibly cultivate all seven powers at once, thinking that it was either his cultivation technique or some treasure that interfered with the testing gate. They had also said that they would discuss how he should pay later. But to demand 70,000 Immortal King Crystals, and to only announce it just as the Divine Lord Immortal Realm was about to open, it was clearly extortion. The Sacred Pill Hall is growing more and more tyrannical. They definitely do this on purpose, raged Lei Yuner. But there was nothing she could do. Lei Yuner, Long Chen, and Ying Bakong then rushed to the gathering place. There were countless people here already. Oh, the Princess of the Lightning Falcon race actually has such an ugly expression. Did you suddenly run out of money? A mocking voice greeted them. It was the Water Mallard race's Wu Ying. She was smiling delightedly at them. Bastard, so it was you, raged Lei Yuner. Wu Ying had clearly known in advance about this, so it must be connected to her. So what? It was the result of multiple noble races such as the Water Mallard race, the Mammoth Divine Elephant race, the Golden Barbarian Bull race, and the Blue a Bright Scale race requesting the Sacred Pill Hall to do this. How can a little human be allowed to enjoy the same treatment as us demonic beasts? He must pay an accordingly high price first, sneered Wu Ying, mocking them. Just wait. Lei Yuner ground her teeth, wanting to attack her right now. What can you do if I wait for you? Do you dare to bite me? taunted Wu Ying. You really are a fool. Do you know what targeting me will bring you? asked Long Chen darkly. His anger was starting to climb. It will bring me joy. Just seeing how angry you are is making me very happy, ha ha ha, laughed Wu Ying. It really is delightful. Hasn't your lightning falcon race fallen for this fellow? I'm sure you can think of a way to pay. At this moment, the large eighth prince of the mammoth divine elephant race also walked over with a sneer. O oh, great princess, now that the divine lord immortal realm is about to open, all those not participating in it have left. He he, if you want him to participate now, you'll have to see if you have the immortal king crystals. Ha ha ha, 70,000 immortal king crystals is no small amount. If you beg me, I don't mind lending you a hundred, sneered a large man whose face was covered in black splotches. His eyes were blue-green. His voice was very cold, just like his aura. It was a very uncomfortable feeling. It was like his blood was cold, and his soul was cold as well. This person was from the blue-eye bright scale race. It was not a dragon race, drake race, or python race. Instead, it was a specific serpent race. They had a serpent's sinisterness and cautiousness. Their inheritance was an ancient one. Although their fame was not on the same level as the lightning falcon race, they were still a very powerful race. Most importantly, they were the leader of the scaled beast races and mortal enemies of the flying beast races. This expert naturally was opposing Lei Yuner. Lei Yuner looked at a giant hourglass, and killing intent filled her eyes. All right. You wish to join forces against my lightning falcon race. Do you think that we're afraid of you? No, we're not targeting the great lightning falcon race, but a lowly human. Respected princess, please don't randomly accuse others of things. It would affect our relationships and the unity of the demonic beast race. 
we are only targeting this little fellow, and we hope that you won't end up losing your life just for a lily human, sneered another demonic beast, his smile completely fake. Long Chan's anger was rising with every single time they called him a lowly human. I see killing intent rose in his heart. HMPH despicable people. Do you think that you can stump me like this? Just wait. Lei Yuner gloomily turned back to Long Chen. Don't move. I'll borrow some from others. Borrow from others? The great lightning falcon races princess actually has the face to borrow money from others. Ha ha ha, we definitely have to watch carefully, sneered Wu Ying. I want to see just who has the money to lend to the Lightning Falcon race, said the eighth prince, intentionally talking loudly as a threat to everyone. Clearly, anyone who lent Lei Yun or Mai would offend the Mammoth Divine Elephant race, the Water Mallard race, and the others. Master, I'll go borrow some too. I have quite a few friends, said Ying Bakan, running off. In just a bit, he came back, dark-faced. Clearly, he had not managed to borrow any money and had even been insulted. Long Chen patted his shoulder comfortingly. He felt that this Ying Bakan was not bad. The latter dared to try to help him in front of so many people. Long Chen was prepared to send him some medicinal pills to increase his spiritual strength after they left the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. Under the Eighth Prince and the others' disdainful gazes, Long Chen waited six full hours. Just as the hourglass was about to run out, Lei Yuna returned. It's a good thing that I didn't spend any of my money at the market. I finally got enough, said Lei Yuna excitedly. Seeing that her forehead was sweaty, Long Chen knew just how anxious she had been. He nodded. He would remember this favor. So what? Once he dies by my hands in the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, that money will have been spent for nothing, said the man from the blue eyebright scale race. Long Chen eyed him and told Lei Yuner, When we get back, I'll give you a snake belt. It'll be very colorful. Hearing this, that man laughed sinisterly. Just as he was about to speak, the sound of a bell resounded, shaking the entire plaza. Everyone instantly became silent. Chapter 3415 Surrounded by difficulty following the sound of the bell, the eighth prince and the others returned to their own respective spots in line. Lei Yuner then handed Long Chen a spatial ring. There are seventy thousand mortal king crystals inside. You have your own line. Once you are there, hand over the money and activate your status plate. Long Chen received the spatial ring. He knew that it must have been difficult to borrow so much money at this time. She had probably been mocked during the process. Although he hadn't known her for a long time, he understood her character. She was an extremely proud person, but she was willing to lower her noble head for him. The, don't be angry. Once we enter the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, we'll go to the World Core and snatch their karmic luck, said Lei Yuner comfortingly. She had previously mentioned entering the World Core with Long Chen. Now, it seemed that so many people had joined forces for the same goal. It would be up to each side to see how much energy they could absorb. Long Chen then nodded and brought the spatial ring to his line. This was a line for foreign experts. Because he came late, he lined up at the end. Did you see? He is the one that the Lightning Falcon race favors. TCH, someone who relies on selling out the human race's bloodline to ingratiate themselves with the demonic beast race. What a loss of face for the human race. Exactly. He actually acts arrogant after doing that. It's disgusting. Once Long Chen was in line, quite a few humans pointed at him. Although they were mocking him, they couldn't conceal the envy in their eyes. They also wished that they could marry into the demonic beast race, but they weren't qualified to do so. Wouldn't it be nice to just live properly? Why court death? I don't want to kill people, so why must they force me? 
Long Chen shook his head and sighed. As fellow humans, these people had no amiability for him, only hostility and jealousy. It was like without Long Chen, Lei Yuner would have picked them. Their ugly appearances were truly nauseating. Long Chen even felt that, in comparison, the demonic beasts were easier to get to know. At least, their characters were simpler and more straightforward. They weren't like humans who were clearly envious and yet had to put on such sanctimonious airs. The latter would criticize others from up above while it was their own hearts that were the most twisted. It was like a palm-sized loincloth was able to cover up their ugly natures. Just looking at their hateful appearances, Long Chen unconsciously clinched his fists. After a few hours, it was finally Long Chen's turn. He handed his tablet to a half-step world king in charge. The latter then took his tablet and spatial ring. After eyeing Long Chen, he coldly said, I heard that you are an alchemist, is it any of your business? Replied Long Chen, and he narrowed his eyes. Unexpectedly, even the sacred pill hall's people were finding trouble for him. The half-step world king sneered, Little fellow, your words are tough. You don't really think that hugging the leg of the lightning falcon race will allow you to do whatever you please, do you? Long Chen also sneered and got closer to the elder. It seems that the only ones capable of doing what they please is your sacred pill hall, right? Even the rules can be randomly changed. No matter how strong I am, I can't be as tyrannical as you. Isn't that right? The elder actually nodded. It's good that you know. Remember where this place is. Remember whose word counts here. It would be best if you didn't cause any trouble here. Otherwise, no one will be able to protect you. After that, he stuck a golden rune to the back of Long Chen's tablet and handed it back to him. Long Chen received the tablet. Looking at the half-step World King's disdainful appearance, he smiled. He he, I don't cause trouble. But if I do, it would definitely be an accident. You, The half-step world king's expression sank, but Long Chen was already walking away, sticking out his middle finger at the elder as he walked away. The half-step world king didn't know what it meant, but there was no way this middle finger could mean anything good. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and get over here. Are you waiting for this old man to personally drag you here? demanded the elder darkly, scaring the next person in line behind Long Chen to the point that he couldn't even move. It seemed as if the elder was planning on releasing his anger on him. Long Chen had received his ticket to enter the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. He was thinking of how to make money and repay Lei Yuner's favor. Guo Linger and the demon Moon Furnace were already refining the lightning spirit blood soul pills in the primal chaos space. He had as many ingredients for them as he wanted. However, he felt that just those pills weren't enough to repay Lei Yuner's favor. He was trying to think of something better so that he could feel at ease when he left. Long Chen had just walked back when Lei Yuner found him, and Ying Baka was right behind her. The three of them then walked down a long path. There was another large plaza at the end of the path. There were already millions and millions of people present. A giant screen of light could be seen at the front of the plaza. Through the light, they could see a desolate world. It was a mountainous land without a single blade of grass growing on it. But this desolate world still gave off a feeling of immense vitality. That is the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. It is a treasured land specially built for four peak experts to advance. The laws here are complete, and there is abundant spiritual kai. Heavenly tribulations also become gentle due to the influence of the world core. Moreover, people can freely absorb thunder force when they undergo tribulation here. It is said that this place was created by the sacred pill hall using divine venerate Brahma's power. This world requires a supreme divine energy that is independent of the heavenly Tao's. Furthermore, it is said 
that the world core of the divine lord immortal realm is connected to the core of the integral heaven star field those who advance within the world core will obtain the approval of the entire integral heaven star field said leunar excitedly it was precisely due to this that even powerful races like the lightning falcon race mammoth divine elephant race and water mallard race would choose to come here despite having their own inheritance lands for their advancements the core of a star field was extremely attractive the core of a star field long chen suddenly thought of the martial heaven continent wasn't it also the core of a star field could it be that this core would be just like the martial heaven continent's core just then a large platform rose above the screen of light and eight half-step world kings appeared they stood around the platform holding their weapons vigilantly long chen was startled what was going on once the eight of them were standing steadily a wooden cross rose out of the center of the platform there was a person chained to the cross when long chen saw that person his heart pounded wildly his blood instantly ignited a nine star air chapter three thousand four hundred sixteen nine star air the expert bound in chains to the wooden cross had just appeared when long chen's six stars automatically quivered he also felt an indescribable feeling of closeness to this expert he was tall with long hair and his body was particularly thick but he gave off a feeling as if his power could cause the heavens to collapse there were hundreds of steel stakes nailing him to the cross every steel stake was covered in runes that gave off a powerful aura other than the steel stakes and chains he also had handcuffs and fetters binding him he was covered in wounds his flesh exposed all over however no blood flowed out as it had already run dry he was practically a corpse however countless startled cries rang out his aura was absolutely terrifying despite being in the divine lord realm he gave off a pressure almost equal to a world king furthermore the murderous aura around him was incredibly dense he was just like a reaper from hell just looking at him made people's souls quake what a terrifying physical body even though all his blood has run dry he still emits such pressure just who is he what is the sacred pill hall doing lay Yuner stared in shock at that person this opening of the divine lord immortal realm seemed to be different than before that person suddenly moved just from raising his head the chains binding him tightened and all the half-step world kings retreated half a step from fear even though he was chained he still terrified them only once he raised his head did people see that he wasn't old at all he had thick eyebrows and big eyes with some sideburns and facial hair although his eyes had lost their luster he still gave off a very domineering feeling that person's gaze swept across the crowd and he slowly smiled disdainfully after that the chains on his body slowly tightened forcing his head down he seemed to be trying to resist but he was powerless he had to lower his head i'm grateful that i get to see another nine star air before i die i by yan can die without regrets a voice rang out in long chen's mind that nine star air was communicating with him it was not a spiritual communication but a communication using their feng fu stars as the vector only nine star heirs could hear this voice i won't let you die i promise long chen clenched his fists as a fellow nine star heir long chen definitely wouldn't permit this man to die in front of him even if he had to lose his life he would fight you cannot save me they have sucked away all of my essence blood and shattered my violet tower star i do not have long to live said the nine star heir to him he seemed happy as if he didn't care about his own death it was as if seeing long chen made him not care about losing his life there must be a way long chen's heart was pounding crazily as expected 
once he advanced to the divine lord realm it would be time to condense the seventh star the violet tower star however long chen didn't know if the destruction of the violet tower star would lead to death in any case though it would probably signify that he would never be able to cultivate again don't comfort me as a nine-star heir i knew that such a day would come sooner or later but i really do feel regret as a nine-star heir i was unable to do anything for the nine-star line i'm going to die just like this what a pity brother i've seen several nine-star heirs but they've all died all i could do was avenge them you are the only living nine-star heir that i've seen furthermore you have a different aura from the rest of us nine star heirs perhaps you are a variant amongst nine star heirs that might be why you have managed to conceal yourself without being noticed that is excellent don't expose yourself do your best to grow up and accomplish the ultimate mission of our nine star line said the nine star heir emotionally he had high expectations for long chen leave those words for later i'm going to make my move before the world kings descend i'm confident that i can save you said long chen he was already starting to gather his energy full as a nine star heir do you not understand what i'm saying the nine star heir's voice became a furious roar my seventh star is already destroyed i'm a cripple do you think i have the face to live in this world while on death's door do you think i will implicate other nine star heirs because i am afraid of death do you know just how fortunate it is that you are capable of hiding your identity if you are exposed because of me then not even ten thousand deaths would be enough to wash away my sins the nine star heir was quivering on his cross he was clearly enraged and his fury was because Long Chen so stubbornly wished to save him. Can it be that I'm supposed to just watch as you die? They pulled you out as a show of strength, raged Long Chen. How could he control himself if he had to watch a fellow nine star heir being slain? Do you know how few nine star heirs can grow up under the watch of Lord Brahma? Do you know how much cruelty I had to endure to reach this level? do you know how many times i suffered humiliation i once watched as another nine star heir was surrounded and killed because i was powerless to save him if i could endure why can't you even if you save me what can that do you will throw away your life to save a cripple your goal isn't to save me but to slay that ingrate lord brahma do you understand roared the nine star heir long chen clenched his teeth and didn't reply he didn't know what to say he had always killed people decisively but now he didn't know what to do brother i can comprehend your heart i also went through the same thing but you must remember not to throw your life away for nothing not when you still have a purpose if you really want to help me then help me get revenge after i die kill lord brahma kill all his dogs the nine star heir's voice suddenly softened promise me that you won't try to save me if you do you will fall for their trap i have never begged anyone before in this lifetime this is the first and the last i hope that you will promise me this long chen was disconcerted nine star heirs had a special feeling between them even though it was long chen's first time seeing this man he felt as close as life and death brothers with him to have long chen just watch as he died was an incomparable torture i i promise you i will get revenge for you said long chen his heart full of agony long chen knew that this was the pride of a nine star heir saving him would only bring him more time he wanted to die with at least a trace of dignity just then three elders walked in and stood atop the platform a startled cry then rang out the sacred pill hall's master and two assistant hall masters favorite 
Chapter 3417, the Nine Star Lines, Mission, three world kings had come at once, and they gave off powerful auras, especially their leader, an elder with a beard, thicker than his sparse hair. His pressure made it difficult for others to even breathe. They weren't intentionally unleashing their powerful pressures. However, their natural auras simply caused the entire plaza to become grave and solemn. Their arrival caused an uproar, as some experts recognized their status. They were the master and assistant masters of the sacred pill hall. Although the three of them rarely appeared, due to some powers having close relationships with the sacred pill hall, they still recognized the three of them. The powerful forces like the Lightning Falcon Race, Water Mallard Race, Mammoth Divine Elephant Race, and others would implore their disciples not to provoke the three of them no matter what. If they provoked others, then do, to their backgrounds, even the sacred pill hall would give them face. But if they provoked the three of them, then there would be no face to talk of. Their seniors needed them to know who they could provoke and who they couldn't. Since all three of them had appeared, that alone signified just how big this matter was. After a moment of shock, the entire plaza fell silent. The hallmaster's gaze swept across the ground, and he seemed to be very satisfied with this result. However, when his gaze fell on the person beside Lei Yuner, Long Chen, he paused slightly. Lei Yuner was leaning on Long Chen, and her arms were wrapped around his elbow, appearing very intimate. But for some reason, he had a strange feeling when he looked at Long Chen. However, there were important matters for him to announce right now, so he didn't pay much attention to Long Chen. My sacred pill hall is borrowing the opening of the Divine Lord Immortal Realm to announce a major matter. Everyone knows that the Divine Lord Immortal Realm was made by my sacred pill hall. Recently, Divine Venerate Brahma even lent his power to draw out the core of an entire star field to create a world core for the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. This core allows people to not only advance perfectly, but also absorb the karmic luck of heaven and earth. For the demonic beast race in particular, advancing year will turn you into the favorites of heaven and earth, allowing you to be favored by the heavenly Tao's just like the human race. Hearing this, the demonic beasts were all excited. While the demonic beast race looked down on the human race, they also envied the human race in one aspect. That was that the human race had more support from the heavenly Tao's. The core of the star field could change the fate of the entire demonic beast race. Furthermore, once they obtained the approval of the heavenly Tao's, their bloodline would also change. This change could very likely allow their bloodline runes to be passed down to future generations as well. Thus, all the major powers were eyeing this world core. The whole master continued, My sacred pill hall has paid an immense price, both financially and in terms of manpower. But that doesn't count for anything. We are only the Divine Venerate's servants. Divine Venery, Brahma cares about all living things and wishes all living beings to live equally. Even as part of the human race, he believes in equality between races. The heavens belong to all races. Everyone, I ask that we say a prayer for Divine Venerate Brahma's blessings. After that, the void rumbled and a huge statue appeared in the sky. It shone brightly enveloping the plaza with divine light. When the statue of Lord Brahma appeared, everyone in the plaza immediately closed their eyes and pressed their hands together in prayer, murmuring something. In order to not appear conspicuous, Long Chen also closed his eyes and pressed his hands together. He asked the Nine Star Heir, Is there anything I can do to help you? You can live a proper life and accomplish the mission of our Nine Star Line. Then, even if I had to die ten thousand times, it would be worth it, replied the Nine Star Heir. What is that mission? asked Long Chen. After a moment of hesitation, the Nine Star Heir said, Once you condense the Ninth Star, you will know. 
Can you show me your cultivation technique? Due to relying entirely on myself, I cultivated the nine star hegemon body art down a different path. I'm not sure if I've cultivated it properly, said Long Chen. How can that be? Using his spiritual strength, Long Chen showed him the formation of his six stars. After looking at that, the nine star heir gasped. No wonder you haven't been noticed yet. You deviated from the original path at the five star battle armor. The nine star heir displayed his own star diagram to Long Chen. The first four stars were the same, but it was different starting from the fifth star. His power also started from the Feng Fu star and formed a perfect circle. By the time his seventh star condensed, it was almost a perfect match for his divine ring. It perfectly merged his power. Long Chen's heart turned cold. It seemed that he had truly gone down the wrong path. Furthermore, he had gone down way too far and couldn't go back. Hearing the story about how Long Chen had gone off a different path, that Nine Star Air comforted him. Don't be afraid. Although you've gone down the wrong path, your aura is still powerful. It might even be stronger than mine in that realm. This might be why you are able to dodge the noses of the Nine Star Hunters. Who can say whether this is a good thing or not? You must persevere down this path. We Nine Star Heirs have been viewed as prey for trillions of years. Perhaps this fate will finally be reversed by you. Perhaps it is precisely due to our trillions of years of failure that a variant like you was born. Brother, I really am excited about your future. You must live well. Flip the heavens. Avenge our fallen brothers. This nine-star heir grew emotional. It seemed that he was finally seeing another future, a future with light. Everyone, do you know who this convict is? I will tell you. He is a successor to the most wicked, most bloodthirsty, most hated existence within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, the Nine Star Line. Just as Long Chen and the Nine Star Air were talking, the whole master's voice once more resounded through the air. Startled cries rang out. The name of Nine Star Airs was known to everyone. Legend had it that they were natural warriors existences that were unrivaled within the same realm. However, these people had only heard of them, and had never seen one. Looking at the Nine Star Air, sensing his terrifying aura, they were shocked, as expected of a warrior with such a reputation. No wonder he emits such terrifying pressure. So he's a legendary Nine Star Air. Even after all his blood has run dry, he's so terrifying. If he was in his peak condition, he would be even more terrifying said Leuner in shock. The existence of a nine-star air was like a rock unleashing thousands of ripples. Everyone was stunned. Nine-star airs were all mysterious and absolutely terrifying. The hall master then pointed at the nine-star air. With an expression of disgust, he announced, Do you know why this person, despite clearly possessing the body of the human race, has such a terrifying physical body? Hearing that, Long Chen's anger flared. He could already guess what the Hall Master's next words would be. Chapter 3418 You're talking nonsense, the sacred pill Hall's master continued to speak, his voice resounding throughout heaven and earth. The nine star heirs are the scum of the world. They are another form of heaven Caesars, and they rely on killing others to cultivate, stealing power from others. The reason why he has such a terrifying physical body is because he has killed countless demonic beasts, taking their power for his own. His cultivation is special. It is a cultivation technique that depends on harming others to strengthen oneself, so he has slain countless life forms. Countless demonic beasts have been killed for his powerful physical body. This is why a little human with a weak physical body came to possess such terrifying blood kai. When the whole master's powerful voice that was backed by his spiritual strength and filled with righteous indignation rang out, Long Chen finally couldn't hold back anymore. What fucking nonsense! 
just as the whole master was giving a passionate speech and the demonic beats were enraptured by his words and emotions long chen's curse struck everyone dumb evenly yuner jumped it was the master of the sacred pill hall that long chen was cursing did he not want his life any longer if you expose yourself because of me i won't forgive you even in my death the nine star airs howl resounded in long chen's mind he had just implored long chen to endure and not much had happened before long chen started cursing so the nine star air was enraged the world fell deathly silent everyone's gaze was instantly concentrated on long chen and the sacred pill hall's experts were glaring at him with killing intent what did you say the hall master coldly turned to long chen i said that you are spouting nonsense who said that the human race's physical bodies are weak i refuse to believe this lie do you think all humans are as sickly as alchemists like you demanded long chen how brazen one of the assistant hall masters barked at long chen he then cast a glance at the eight half-step world kings and they prepared to subdue long chen what can it be that the sacred pill hall will not permit others to correct their incorrect words sneered long chen with him saying that the hall master narrowed his eyes he then extended his hand stopping the half-step world kings if he wanted to he could easily subdue this youngster but he had to have an excuse first tell me which of my words were wrong demanded the hall master everything was within long chen's expectations pill valley had been like this and now the sacred pill hall was the same they were a bunch of sanctimonious hypocrites who wanted to be seen as saints while being thieves which words were wrong Boom. long chen stamped the ground with a single foot and the earth shuddered cracks were spreading on this hard plaza floor instantly going beyond the horizon countless experts expressions changed this plaza was backed by a formation and it was extremely tough they hadn't seen long chen store up energy at all so just by stamping his foot he had unleashed such terrifying power count this as me begging you not to expose yourself implored the nine star heir he knew that long chen was enraged but long chen had only condensed up to the sixth star if he was exposed now he would definitely die hearing that long chen was enraged but he also felt terrible he wished he could kill all these people from the sacred pill hall right now but he didn't have that power yet he was incredibly vexed but he knew that with so many experts present there was nothing he could do that feeling of powerlessness drove him mad who said that the human race had weak bodies hall master are you discriminating against the human race or do you no longer view yourself as a human asked long chen who are you demanded the hall master darkly i am just an ordinary human a human that could not be more ordinary to the extent that i was even targeted by a pack of fools and made to pay a full seventy thousand immortal king crystals just to come here sneered long chen seventy thousand immortal king crystals the hall master was startled and then looked at his two assistants they were also confused not knowing about this matter what is going on demanded the hall master reporting it is because boss long sen cultivated all seven powers to the highest level it was impossible to confirm his true power moreover over thirty races including the water mallard race the mammoth divine elephant race the golden barbarian bull race and the blue eye bright scale race asked for him to pay the highest price one of the half-step world kings nervously stepped forward he was the one that long chen had paid the price to so the rules of the sacred pill hall can be changed so easily just by gathering a few people what a huge joke if you can swear on your soul that you didn't receive any benefits from those races i boss long san will immediately leave the integral heaven star field sneered long chen 
originally he had only cursed the hallmaster due to his raid without considering the consequences but following the pleading of the nine star heir long chen came up with a plan to cover it up ay ay that half-step world king had no reply he truly had accepted bribes from those races to do this after that the hallmaster furiously slapped the elder's face sending him tumbling back and coughing up blood startled cries then rang out bring him away once the matter of the divine lord immortal realm is over cripple his cultivation base and expel him from the integral heaven star field shouted the hall master hearing that punishment people's hearts shook that was a half-step world king he was to be crippled that was truly ruthless as for long chen he sneered inside just who was he showing this act to once everyone was gone who would know how this person would be punished only these brainless demonic beasts could be tricked by such a childish lie young friend my sacred pill hall has produced a degenerate this old man will apologize to you as a representative of the sacred pill hall our reputation cannot be soiled by anyone we will return your ticket price the hall master turned to long chen and handed a spatial ring to him with an amicable smile it was my sacred pill hall that was wrong in this matter all the consequences will be borne by us you can enter the divine lord immortal realm with a peaceful heart long chen received the spatial ring under the envious gazes of quite a few people that was seventy thousand immortal king crystals it was no small sum wu ying and the others were particularly enraged their attempt at conning long chen had only ended up with him getting free entrance long chen saw the hidden killing intent within the hall master's amicable smile it seemed like he was not planning on letting long chen leave alive that was the only reason he had said such nice words it was just for others to see he was truly a wily fox this further set the sacred pill hall up as a righteous and glorious place long chen simply smiled as he took the spatial ring not even bothering to say thanks that arrogant rudeness of his even angered the demonic beasts as they felt that he had gone too far as for the hall master he acted indifferent to it with this done he looked around and focused on the nine star air once more demon you killed countless life forms you are the very definition of evil your crimes cannot be atoned for no matter what Today I will represent all living creatures beneath the heavens in carrying out your execution. Do you have any last words? Chapter 3419 Towering Killing Intent Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! The nine star heir raised his head and laughed. Although he was powerless, his voice had not lost its domineering nature. Execution? The likes of you think you're fit to execute a nine-star heir? How satirically laughable, he sneered. HMPH, you've killed countless life forms. It is only by committing countless wicked acts that you have your power. Do you not feel the slightest bit of guilt? shouted the hallmaster. He continued blaspheming nine-star heirs. Seeing this, Long Chan was clenching his fists again this was a huge insult to him he could see that the sacred pill hall was planning on using this chance to turn the nine star heirs into the enemies of the demonic beast race the hall master was exceptionally shameless he even infused pure spiritual strength in his words which could easily draw out emotions from other people and affect their wills let alone these four peak demonic beasts even demonic beasts that had reached the world king realm could easily be swayed by him alchemists innately possessed powerful spiritual strength while demonic beasts had weak spiritual strength adding on their simple heads it was all too easy for them to fall for it now long chen knew that the sacred pill hall had built a stronghold here precisely to plant the seed of hatred 
Their goal was to turn the demonic beast race against the nine star heirs. Demonic beasts were spread throughout the entire immortal world, and they had many branches. By using this one stronghold, the sacred pill hall would plant the seed of hatred, and then use various means to make it grow, cultivating it until the entire demonic beast race was opposed to nine star heirs. In other words, this divine lord immortal realm was nothing more than bait. In fact, it hadn't even been attractive enough before, so the sacred pill hall had spent a huge sum to include the starfield's core in it as well, all just to create a holy land. They were using this peak grade holy land as bait, and their goal was clearly the heavenly geniuses of the lightning falcon, water mallard, mammoth divine elephant, and other powerful races. They were the future pillars of their races. Planting this seed was only the start according to Long Chen's prediction. They definitely had a much bigger plan set up, but he was still unaware of what exactly it was. Do you know how many innocent life forms were used to build your body of flesh? Did you ever think about the fathers, mothers, partners, and children of the demonic beasts that you killed? In your dreams, did you ever see the resentful spirits of the demonic beasts whose lives you claimed? The hall master continued droning on righteously. At the same time, Long Chen felt his blood raging within him. This old bastard was too shameless. Most importantly, his voice contained a bewitching power that was starting to inflame these demonic beasts. Their own anger was being drawn out, and they were tricked just like that. Even Lei Yuner had her lightning runes appear in her eyes. She was also affected. Endure. You must endure. You know that our fatal weakness is not knowing how to endure. The nine star air ignored the hall master's sanctimonious droning, instead focusing on Long Chen. I'm about to die, but I'm very happy. You let me see the flame of hope. Grow this flame day by day until it illuminates the nine heavens and ten lands. I do regret dying before I get to see just how powerful you will be with the seventh star. You are. Suddenly, his voice was cut off as a golden spear pierced his chest. Long Chen saw the wielder of the golden spear. It was that detestable eighth prince of the mammoth divine elephant race. He had actually charged onto the stage and stabbed the nine star heir. You damned human race! Do you know what kind of end you'll get for offending the great demonic beast race? roared the eighth prince hatefully. The nine star heir slowly raised his head and looked at the eighth prince. He sneered indifferently, foolish fellow, I don't know what my end will be, but I know yours will be a thousand times more miserable than mine. Die! The eighth prince roared furiously. His spear then quivered, blasting the nine star heir's body apart. Long Chen clenched his fists so hard that they creaked, and his fingernails dug into his skin. The sharp pain tried to draw his attention away from his rage, but it failed. At that moment, his soul quivered and black light flashed in his eyes, but it vanished as quickly as it appeared. Within his peak anger and sorrow, he didn't notice the change in himself. Long Chen crazily suppressed his rage, doing his best to appear calm. The death of this nine-star heir was his own choice. He wanted to die with dignity. However, Long Chen could not forgive the sacred pill hall or the mammoth divine elephant race's eighth prince. He was simply waiting until he underwent his tribulation at the core of the divine lord immortal realm. Once he reached the divine lord realm, he would get revenge for this iron-boned nine-star heir. Excellent. Warriors of the demonic beast race. The demonic beast race needs warriors like you in order to stop the nine-star heir's unrestrained slaughter, praised the hall master. The eighth prince suddenly raised his head and howled after receiving the hall master's praise. It was like he was a lion that had defeated his opponent, showing off his bravery to everyone. This bastard, how can killing someone without the ability to resist count as something? If he had guts, 
he would have fought him for real, said Lei Yuner hatefully. This one roar from the eighth prince seemed to have awakened Lei Yuner from the hall master's hypnosis. It also stimulated her hatred for him. If I kill him, will that implicate your lightning falcon race? asked Long Chen. That's impossible. Lei Yuner was startled. Even if we joined forces, while we might be able to fight him, beating him would be as difficult as ascending the heavens, and that's not even talking about killing him. He has the Elephant Emperor War Chariot. That's the priceless treasure of the mammoth divine elephant race, one that possesses the power to destroy heaven and earth. We can't stop it. Seeing Long Chen suddenly become serious, for some reason, Lei Yuner's heart was pounding worriedly. She actually felt an indescribable fear welling up inside of her. The current Long Chen was frightening. After the Eighth Prince was done roaring, the Hall Master suddenly sent him a message. Once you enter the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, kill that black-robed human. I keep feeling like he's a disaster in the making. Yes. The Eighth Prince nodded. The two of them communicated naturally, as if everything had been arranged. The evildoer has been slain. Now, the Divine Lord Immortal Realm will be opened. The Hall Master shouted. After that, the entire plaza lit up, and everyone was instantly sucked into the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. Inside the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, Long Chen ignored the spiritual Kai that had been concentrated to the peak. Instead, he stared at the expert of the blue eye bright scale race not far from him. Long Chen looked at him, and he looked at Long Chen. The two of them then shouted at the same time charging at the other. Chapter 3420 Identity exposed Long Chen and the others had just entered the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. Following that, a new group of people entered the empty plaza. Even the weakest member of this group was a late-stage Immortal King, and there were over ten World Kings amongst them. They represented the pillars and leaders of the various large demonic beast races. Standing in the plaza, they could clearly see specks of light landing within the Divine Lord Immortal Realm. What was happening inside was obvious at a glance. Amongst these countless experts was a rather small but imposing elder. His face was frighteningly dark. He was the leader of the Lightning Falcon race. He was aware of Long Chen being targeted. When he learned that the mighty Lightning Falcon race's princess had been forced to borrow money from all around, he was infuriated. This was clearly a slap in the lightning falcon race's face. As for the experts of the mammoth divine elephant race, water mallard race, golden barbarian bull race, blue eye bright scale race, and the others, they were smiling sinisterly. The lightning falcon race's leader finally understood that his race had long since been targeted. As for the proposed marriage from the mammoth divine elephant race, it definitely had some scheme lying within it. Their goal was very likely to ruin the genius that was Lei Yuner. Long Chen's arrival had caused them to put their plan into place ahead of time. Now, they were starting to suppress the Lightning Falcon race. Although he was no genius, even a fool would be able to see that if all these races were suddenly targeting the Lightning Falcon race, they must have been planning it for a long time. What a pity. That Longfellow is going to die young. He'll never get to be the Lightning Falcon race's son-in-law. The place he landed at is truly unfortunate. A sinister voice rang out, clearly targeting the Lightning Falcon race. This voice came from a wizened tall elder holding a snake-head cane. His eyes were blue-green. He was the leader of the blue eye bright scale race. The reason... He was mocking him was because the light representing Long Chen had fallen very close to the heavenly genius of their blue-eye bright scale race. After being transported into the Divine Lord Immortal Realm, every speck of light representing them also had a particular mark on their tablet, which made it quite easy for people to recognize them. Thus, 
they could clearly see that the specks of light representing Long Chen and the man from the blue eye bright scale race had fallen in almost the exact same place. Fool, you're targeting that little fellow without knowing just how strong he is. Can someone chosen by Yuner possibly be an ordinary man? sneered the Lightning Falcon race's leader. He had tested Long Chen's physical body, so he knew just how powerful it was. Ha ha ha, even if he has a powerful physical body, so what? Can a little human compete with the demonic beast race? Oh, I forgot. Your lightning falcon race's physical bodies are actually below average amongst demonic beasts. My apologies, sneered the blue eye bright scale race's leader. There was quite a bloody enmity between the two of them. The blue eye bright scale race was the main leader of the scaled beast race, while the lightning falcon race was the main leader of the flying beast race. Originally, the two were equally matched, but then due to the water mallard race leaving the flying beast race's side and bringing a few others with them, the flying beast race ended up at a disadvantage. That was why there was so much hatred between the lightning falcon race and the water mallard race. The sacred pill hall's people were also present, but they were simply watching this war of words without interfering. At least titularly, the sacred pill hall didn't participate in those battles. Not good. Palace master, we've finally investigated who this boss Long San is. He is. At this moment, an expert from the sacred pill hall came running in hurriedly. As soon as he appeared, the experts of the demonic beasts turned toward him. Who is he? The hallmaster's heart clenched. A bad feeling rose within him. He ate. He is the High Firmament Academist's Seventh Branch Academy's Dean, Long Chen. What nonsense! The High Firmament Academy no longer has any branch academies. Just a few months ago, this Long Chen reclaimed the Seventh Branch Academy. That's how he became the Dean, reported that person. Excellent. It really is a case of there being a path to the heavens, and yet he still forced his way into hell. Lock down the entire auspicious cloud prefecture. HMPH, those useless pieces of trash in the Bloodkill Hall couldn't even deal with him. We won't let Long Chen get away snorted the hall master. Yes. Following that, chains appeared in the air, weaving together into a giant formation that completely sealed this space. This grand formation gave even world kings a sense of immense pressure. At that moment, everyone's expression changed. They finally sensed something off. The High Firmament Academy was the oldest academy within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. Even the demonic beast race had heard of its name. So, they had never dreamed that this human that they looked down upon was actually a dean from the High Firmament Academy. Although they didn't know much about the High Firmament Academy, they did know that the High Firmament Academy was enemies with the god at the sacred pill hall worshipped, Lord Brahma. Who would have thought that someone from the High Firmament Academy would muddle his way into this place? HMPH, what Dean? It's just an empty title. The talented disciples of my race can easily kill him in the same realm. Everyone, just watch, sneered the leader of the Blue Eye Bright Scale race arrogantly. However, those familiar with him could tell that his smile was forced. This was a smile to cover up his shock and unease. That man from the blue eye bright scale race had landed in the same place as Long Chen. Both of them saw each other, and with a furious roar, they clashed. Boom! A huge explosion erupted. The two of them were entirely unaware that they were currently being watched by countless eyes. The earth crumbled. After that, the man from the blue eye bright scale race flew back with a painful grunt. His arm had exploded. His physical body was very powerful. Although it didn't reach the same level as the mammoth divine elephant race, amongst demonic beasts in terms of just physical bodies, he could definitely enter the top ten within the integral heaven star field. 
He had been planning on using this immense power to quickly injure Long Chen in one blow. Fighting in terms of physical strength was to his advantage in his mind. However, he hadn't expected to be the one blown back and injured. After feeling a mix of shock and anger, runes suddenly appeared in his eyes. His blood kai instantly soared. Just as he wanted to use his innate divine abilities, no divine ability appeared. Instead, two fingers stabbed through his eyes, and his miserable scream resounded throughout heaven and earth. What? All the experts watching were stunned. As for the leader of the blue-eye bright-scale race, a vein throbbed on his forehead. Favorite, 